the Olympic quest has reached its final destination, Brandon, Manitoba, in the cradle of curling. The unknown quantity. Ontario's Mike Harris makes his national debut in Canadian curling. The golf pro from North York, steadied by common sense, is leading his own revolution. Underrated, outside of Ontario, he's in uncharted territory in Brandon. But the new kid on the block has been a picture of calm, smooth in the delivery, and with artistic impression. Respected for his touch around the rings, number one in the round robin, and undaunted with a bye to the final. We haven't been to the national exposure, but there's not a lot we don't know about this sort of thing. And, uh, you know, we're, we may not be uh, well known across the country, but, um, you know, the, all the players know us. And we've been to, I'd say, in Ontario, our tankards are in arenas almost this size, and uh, we're, they're televised, and the crowds are full, and, you know, they're, they're always cheering for Eddie and Russ, as the, the famous ones. And, uh, you know, it's, it's okay for to be, to be an underdog here. And, and uh, you know, as the week goes on, hopefully we'll win a few fans over and uh, get a couple on our side. Today, the Mike Harris rink goes after the Olympic carrot in its first venture to the national stage. Their opponents are famous. Kevin Martin, curling's fair-haired boy in 1997, capturing his second Briar title on home ice in Alberta. He's fearless, a skip with a penchant for the spectacular. Kevin Martin is peaking. In the semifinal versus Ed Wernick, he shot the lights out, throwing hard and with gusto. Double raise takeouts, angle raises, circus shots that climaxed with a berth in the final. Once denied in Alberville, he's more focused than ever. This is a very big event, and I think we're one of the teams that just realized how big it is. You know, because when you do get on that airplane, they go nagging on it. So it's such a rush. The Kevin Martin rink, decorated at home, still shooting for global glory. The following is a live presentation of CBC Sports. the Keystone Center in Brandon, the men's final of the Canadian Olympic curling trials. Mike Harris of Ontario versus Kevin Martin of Alberta. Good afternoon and welcome to our coverage of the men's final. Well, this is it. After 18 months of qualifiers, bond spiels and national championships, 18 months of travel, sacrificed holidays and missed work, only two rinks remain. This has indeed been a long and demanding process, choosing Canada's team to the Nagano Olympic Winter Games. But now, the moment is at hand. And this indeed will be the dawn of a new era for Canadian Olympic curling. And with that in mind, let's welcome two more Dons to the broadcast, Don Whitman and Don Dugan. Thank you, Mark. Hi, everybody. It was a shaky start to these Olympic trials for the reigning Canadian champion, Kevin Martin, two and three through his first five games. But Don Dugat, he's won his last five, and a lot of people figure this momentum will carry right through the championship game against Ontario's Mike Harris. Well, you know, Don, we've watched Kevin play a lot of curling games, struggling at the beginning of the week, but towards the end, he's the Kevin of old. He's making the raise back doubles. He's drawing to the exact spot that he wants. He is really curling up a storm, and he's going to be tough to stop. But a lot of people have been impressed with the composure of Mike Harris, something of a virtual unknown outside the province of Ontario, but he has looked very sharp. He had a couple of uh, blimps on his record, so to speak, including a loss to Kevin Martin, but he would like to avenge that defeat this afternoon. Well, they're a very confident young team, Don. They're young, they're fresh, they love to gamble. The thing they have to do is uh, keep Clev Kevin close to him throughout the game. Don't let Kevin run away and hide. And Kevin's got to be aware of their, their ability, too. So I think it's going to be an exciting game. Lots of rocks in play, lots of action. 
And it should be a tremendously exciting finale to these Olympic trials here in Brandon on the men's side. And now let's go down to ice level and here again is Mark Lee. Well, thanks, Don. Unfortunately, Colleen Jones can't be with us this weekend, so we'll take a page from Grey Cup and welcome a game day analyst, and he's John Kawaja, the third for the Ed Wernick rink. And, John, you might be best placed to tell us about Kevin Martin after that thrilling semifinal last night. Well, Kevin played awfully well against us. Uh, we threw everything but the kitchen sink at him for five or six ends, and he held his team in and, and made an awful lot of shots against us and uh, was, was pretty much unbeatable last night. How about Mike Harris? Not too many people outside your province of Ontario know about him, but you're well acquainted. He's a pretty good rink, isn't he? Well, I'll tell you, the guys in the locker room sure know about him. Uh, he was the class of the field this week, and, and uh, he's beaten everybody here in, in Bronzefields across the country and is uh, certainly deserving of uh, the position in the round robin. All right, John, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll look forward to your coverage and your analysis throughout today's men's final. Thanks, Mark. All right, now, John is not the only new development today. The Olympic trials marks the debut of a brand-new look on CBC television and our curling coverage, and we've got a sneak preview for you. CBC viewers will now be as up-to-date as the fans here at the Keystone Center. When you buy a ticket to watch curling in person with a live audience, you're privy to all the pertinent information end by end. You can check the line score at a glance for that deuce or steal of one. And you can look up, way up into the rafters for those clocks in full view over each sheet of ice to keep track of the time remaining in each game. And that's crucial late in the game. And you always know how many rocks are remaining during each end. They're right there in full view on the ice. And now our viewers at home will have access to the same relevant information thanks to this new presentation. The line score, the time, the rocks remaining, it's all there on your screen. The picture squeezed back slightly and surrounded by information. We asked Ed Wernick and Alison Goring of Ontario to screen test the new look, and they were enthusiastic with their reviews. All right, and we'd like to know what you think about our new look at home. You can email us. There's the address. Fax us, or if you want to drop a letter in the mailbox, we'll wait for that, too. But our producer, Joan Mead, would just like you to consider one thing. Give the new look three ends before you make up your mind, and then let us know. All right, the crowd is buzzing here at the Keystone Center in Brandon, and it's time to meet the teams, Kevin Martin and Mike Harris. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the men's final of the Canadian Olympic Curling Trials. The winner of today's game will represent Canada in the Winter Olympics in Nagano when curling becomes an official medal sport in February. We ask, as usual, that you refrain from smoking, no flash photography, and please turn off your cell phones as a courtesy to those around you. It's my pleasure to introduce the competing teams to you. First, from the Tam Heather Country Club in Scarborough, Ontario, playing Yellowstones today, the leading team in the men's round robin with a 7-2 record. Their coach was a world curling champion in 1983 and has coached this team for two years. He is Paul Savage. On the ice, from lead to skip, at lead is George Carries, the second is Colin Mitchell, at third is Richard Hart, and the skip, Mike Harris. Their opposition playing Redstones today is from the Otwell Curling Club in Edmonton, the reigning Labatt Briar champions of Canada. The team's coach has guided his skip for some 13 years. Take a bow, Jules Ochar. And on the ice, from lead to skip, at lead is Don Bartlett, the second is Rudy Ramcharan, at third is Don Walchuk, and the skip with a six and three record, plus yesterday's semifinal victory, Kevin Martin.
Ladies and gentlemen, will you remain standing, please, for the playing of our national anthem. the pre-game proceedings here at the Keystone Center. Here are the rules of play for the trials. The Harrison Martin rinks will play the four rock free guard zone customary in international curling. That means you can't take out a rock out front until the fifth stone is thrown. Each rink gets 73 minutes and each rink two timeouts of one minute each. We're ready to curl. Let's go to the booth. Don Whitman and Don Dugan. Well, Mark, the playing of the national anthem took on added significance this afternoon for the eight curlers on the ice because the winner will be the first to officially represent his nation in the Olympic Games as curling in 1998 for the first time as a full-fledged Olympic medal sport. Kevin Martin was there when it was a demonstration sport in 1992 in Albertville, France. He finished in fourth place. He would certainly like the opportunity to officially represent his country in the Olympics and come home with a gold medal. Mike Harris has some designs of his own. His team curled very well this week. And Don, the thing about the Harris rink that has impressed, they are very relaxed, very composed. Nothing seems to bother them. Well, you know, we had a long talk with them and they're, they're quite delayed to be in the final. They're a fresh approach to curling. They're young, they can make all the shots. And uh, if they get up on Kevin Martin, they're going to be very tough to handle. They're playing with a lot of confidence now, and quite frankly, I'm very impressed with them. Harris had a great line. Someone said, who would he sooner face in the final, Wernick or Martin? He said, well, which of the two-time Canadian champions would you choose? <laughs> and that is the situation that <laughs> Harris faces today. He's going up against a two-time Canadian champion in Kevin Martin. And Martin is the only Canadian curler to win a Canadian Junior Men's Championship and then go on to win a Briar title. And he did that twice in 1991 and again last year in Calgary. Capacity crowds have been in attendance at the Keystone Center in Brandon throughout the week to watch this curling action. And when you talk to the curlers, they all agree that this field is the best that has ever been assembled. Well, you know, I've been here all week and I watched every draw, every rock, and it's almost unbelievable some of the shots uh, the teams tried and they played and they made. I mean, the angle raises, four rock rule, a few more, one more rock and play in front of the free uh, guard zone, a uh, lot more angle raises, straight back raises, corner freezes, really exciting curling from lead right through to skip. Martin will be throwing the red stones. The first place team had the choice of rocks, the color of the rocks, and they also have the last rock advantage. Don Bartlett starts things off for Kevin Martin. He's been a postal clerk in Edmonton since 1980. He uh, had the foresight, I suppose, to schedule his holidays Coffee. just prior to the postal walkout. Right off, right off, Don, right off, right off. And ice conditions excellent here right all on. week. Good movement towards the center into the forefoot area from the outside in, even to the wings from the uh, inside to the outside. Curls very nicely and very, very fast. John Kawaja, 24 second ice. Regular. Off it. Clean. Regular. Off. Whoa. Off. Yep. 
Nope, 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 nope. At the start of our telecast, Mark talked about some of the sacrifices these the curlers have made here, to participate. Really and George Carey's is an example of the sacrifice that people make. He took a sabbatical from his position as editor of the Canadian Curling News to concentrate on curling this year and hopefully uh, have it culminate in a trip to the Olympic Games. Hart! John Hurt. Kawaja has curled on this ice, and uh, John is Hurt. with us down at ice guys. level with Mark Lee. Mark, Hurt. this or John, this ice appears Hurt. to be very, very fast. Oh boy! John, do Well, we're having some technical problems. I'm not sure okay. whether uh, John is able to hear us at the moment, but we'll rectify those problems and uh, hear from John momentarily. Okay. George Carey's going after the lots. Alberta Rock sitting yep. at the back of the eight. Foot. Kind of feeling each other out in this opening end, uh, just getting the ice down. And uh, well, that's the exercise right off the bat. Is they want to make sure the ice conditions haven't changed from the very first game uh, of the round robin play downs, and that it's as, as keen as it was at the beginning of the week as it is now. And the one thing about arena ice, Don, all sheets run the same. If it floats the intern uh, going away from home, Rain. it'll do that throughout the five sheets. There's very little change. Rudy Ramcharan, the newcomer Sorry. to the Martin Rink last year, curled up a storm at the Briar in Calgary. Ruda. And of course, he now is on the threshold of perhaps representing his country in the Olympic Games. Regular. Okay. Yep. Yep. It's interesting that Three. neither of the two seconds, Rancheran or Colin Mitchell, okay. were born in Canada. They were both born in the Caribbean. Rancheran in Trinidad, and Colin Mitchell was born in the Bahamas. Of course, as Colin says, I don't remember much about it because I left there when I was a year old. <laughs> Clean. Clean. You see the percentage underneath curled 85% oh. in the round robin. And for uh, nine, ten it's games, that's like unbelievable. It. Nine games in the round robin, one in the semifinal. He curled about 86% last night. It's unbelievable anyway. curling for a whole week to maintain that average. And you can see uh, where Mike Harris is holding the brush right okay. on the edge of the rock. They're not throwing much weight. Oh. This is the type of ice where if you throw maybe back hack or board weight, no. it'll run very, very straight. In the round robin game, the only time these two teams have hooked up. Uh, that's a little straighter there, right? Eh? Three on the last yeah, end it. gave Martin a 7-5 to five victory. Well, that happens a lot in the four guard, three guard zone. Lots of rocks out in front. You can get yourself in a lot of trouble. You actually have to fight and scratch every end for every point. When you're two up, you're really not safe. When you're three up, you're really not safe because with all the rocks in play, a team can come back on you. It's very right. tough to defend a lead in the free guard zone, four guard. Well, Don Walchuk, the Alberta third, has disposed of the Serrano de Bergerac fake <laughs> nose that he wears for the introduction at every curling event. Halfway's good. People talk about the tension that exists. You'd never know it the way some of these curlers perform right in the in. opening ceremonies and in the introduction. Well, it's a pressure packed week for all of them. I mean, uh, you won't oh. find a better pool of talent anywhere, any sport, in one week yeah, than what's here women's yeah. and men's. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great shot. Richard Hart, who plays third for the Mike Harris team. Went to the Briar in 1995 in Halifax. He was the fifth man for Ed Wernick that year. Never ever got an opportunity to play. Hurt. Hard guys. Hard. Come on. Come on. Walchuk struggled a little early in the match last night in the semifinal game against Wernick. Kevin Martin made some unbelievable shots through the first six ends to really keep his team in it. Well, he really held his team in, Donna. First six ends, I'm telling you. Threw some there in practice. Wernick, a little, little. 
Wernick was yeah. all over them, all over them. Had a chance to put them away, maybe in the sixth end. But some great shooting by Kevin Martin. Okay, yep. I mean, outstanding. Yep. Held his yep. team in there. Okay, okay. What's okay from here? Well, well. Okay, yep. Okay. This uh, ice is also conducive to good brushing. You can take a rock a long way, maybe 15 feet further than you normally would without brushing it because it's so fast. The house is very lively. The ice is very lively, so you can drag a rock a long way. And one of the advantages of playing quickly on the first end, you don't use up nearly as much time, so the time clock later in the game when you may have to have yes. some discussion about a shot doesn't become as Whoa. critical a factor. Clean. Hurt. Clean. What a performance last night by Kevin Martin. 96% in his semifinal win against Ed Wernick. I think we're going to find my two might be a hair straighter. Okay. I'll probably want to show it first most of the day. Two? My two okay. versus my one. Yeah. It's not bad, but I think it might be a hair. Just a hair. Yeah. So. What they're talking about is the rocks they're using. After their semifinal win last night, they were here until almost midnight choosing the red rocks that they would use in this game. Yes, and what Kevin Martin is saying to Don Bartlett is that the number two rock he throws may be a little bit straighter. So if he's using that for a draw, he might not, not take uh, enough ice, a little less ice maybe to get in around because it runs a little bit straighter in his number one rock. Well, or he may play it for a hit. Well, Don, it's John Kawaja down the ice. Um, we noticed yeah, all week yeah, that uh, yeah, the yeah, rocks, sometimes yeah. uh, you'd, you'd play a rock uh, in one game and it would curl, and uh, a couple of games later, you'd play the same rock and it would actually run straight. Uh, the rocks really change depending on the on the surface of the ice. Uh, the ice oh, is like, a lot harder good? right wow, now than it was straight, earlier yeah. in the week, and that's making that the rocks react straight. a little bit differently. A little bit straighter, John? Uh, some are straighter and some swing more. It's, it really changes uh, the the uh, uh, the whole way the way the rocks are, are going to react. That's where the fifth man comes in so handy as he charts the performance of all the rocks during the week. Clean. Absolutely, uh, you know, uh, uh, Paul Savage has been out with the binoculars looking at everybody's rocks Hurt. and charting okay. everything. Okay. So they continue to exchange shots on this opening end. And we're down to the final stone to be delivered by Mike Harris. And of course, he wants to hit and roll out to retain last rock advantage into end number two. So basically, the first couple ends not only are they testing the ice to see yeah. how much it curls or whether it runs straight in the same spot that it did all week, and also testing their rocks to see whether there's a little bit more curl to it or than one versus the other. Yep. Yep. Yes! And Harris will drive out the Martin Stone and roll the shooter out of play as well. And so he will retain the hammer into end two. You know what, Joni? In the opening, I didn't. I didn't hear any cues until uh, we got to the uh, rules, <laughs> or actually, until we got to the uh, PA. <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing in my earphone, so. <laughs> Perfect. Do not. Do not smoke. Well, blank the rest. Oh. What happened to John's mic early in the? Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. At brand, at brand. Last 
last three practices I've had of the club and yesterday and then here today, I've just been working on Got to throw more for you guys. Especially in the lady. No business for that. Oh. At least. And then 15 of the break. You got time to take a shit and have a beer. <laughs> What were you looking for, Don? I was looking for that draw seven, and he brought me draw nine. Well, I, I just I told him to bring the cumulative because I, that's what you were thinking of. Olympic curling trials live on CBC Sports. Brought to you by Chrysler Canada. Proud sponsors of the Canadian Olympic team. Yes, the Canadian men's Olympic representative in curling will be declared this afternoon here at the Keystone Center. And hockey fans across the country will want to turn in, uh, tune in this evening as the Canadian Olympic hockey team is announced at the Corral Center in Ottawa. And our special Hockey Night in Canada pregame show begins at 6.30 Eastern time. That should be enough. That should be enough. Right Easy, Don. Lots of weights. Lots of weights. Quicker this way. Easy. Still there. Still there. Whoa. So Don Bartlett leaves his first stone sitting just outside the rings. Most of the curlers say that they feel the three rock free guard zone is a little more manageable than the four rock free guard zone. Well, it's not as congested. Yep. Yep. And you'll notice yep. Kevin Martin in the four guard zone he likes to get his rocks tight to the circle so that he can raise them back and that's the shot he's famous for he doesn't like to leave them a long way out ah, bend a little okay georgie that's fine how are you georgie Doogie, I think if you uh, pull most of the teams that are playing this week, I think they prefer the three rock rule uh, just because it, it is a little bit more manageable. But uh, um, it, the four rock rule uh, allows for an awful lot of rocks in play, and uh, I'm sure the fans uh, really enjoy that because uh, you know, anything can happen. And, of course, the four rock rule is what they will That's be good. playing at okay. the Olympics. Oh. And Clean. both teams have indicated that if oh. they're successful this afternoon, yeah. they want to go on and... Uh, Play some games in Europe where they really get a lot more exposure to the four rock yes. rule. You're good. And you heard Kevin Martin say uh, he threw it good. It just never moved very much from off the center line. Which Real big. Which might Does indicate it's a little high in the center. <laughs> good. Oh, here wide. Oh, oh, oh. Room. A little oh. less too, isn't it? Okay, that's fine, but hang on, hang in there. The short's okay, right? Getting better. Playing it short, I think. Hey! Room. Acres of room, guys. Acres. I don't know. Okay. Shot. Now that rock has stopped. Good way, George. Partially in the 12 foot. weight's good. And the reason they stopped it short because it wasn't curling behind the guard. Waits up. And they didn't oh, want to bad. bring it in not too bad. deep and allow oh. uh, Queen. Hurry. Mike Harris and or right. Don, uh, Kevin Martin to hit and roll to the oh, inside of it. Come on. Try root. Try root. 
Two stones in play, both belonging to Martin sitting out in front of the rings. Go regular. Knows it's okay. We get a little low, we might get lucky. Regular. Regular weight. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa. Whoa. I guess go. he rolled that one badly. That wasn't the one he was aiming at at all. <laughs> Mike thinks it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, he and Martin were having a bit of a discussion while Colin Mitchell, the man who threw it the second, was shaking his head down at the other end. Yeah, he came out and just rolled it or turned it inside the intended target, and it just took off on him. Once you get to the center line in this particular sheet, it will curl for you. So Tight you have to line. be very, very careful that you get Tight out to the broom on the outside. Okay, just clean. Lots of weight. Okay, whoa well, then. Don't want to be deep. We're deep. Do we have to do we have to chip off it? Well, we're back 12, back eight. Oh. Well, let's let it rub then. Okay. Oh, oh, it's so important to have that familiarity with the front end, knowing exactly what the rock right. is going to do. And as the rock was making its way down the ice, you could hear the conversation between Martin and lead Don Bartlett. Well, Bartlett's great at it. He he always tells Kevin Martin how much weight he has, where where the rock's going to stop, the back of the forefoot, the top of the forefoot. I mean, he's a great right communicator on that team. Yep. 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 Hurry. Hurry. Okay. Good shot. That was the danger stone, the stone sitting out in front of the rings that uh, was removed by Mitchell. Nice throw. Smooth. Kevin's running this one off. It's, it's board weight. It's fairly close to the rings, and that's why he's running it off. If it was maybe a foot board further weight. up, he might come around it. But because it's so close to the ring and may allow Mike Harris a chance to chip and roll it in with his rock, Wait, that's why he's playing it off. Whoa. Hart. Whoa. Hart. Come on. No, Don, I think no, you're going to no. see a whole lot of this defensive play early because uh, both these teams are real front runners and, and uh, just sniffing for a two point lead. I think you're going to see some defensive curling there? for the first four or five ends huh? here. Did he want to roll there? Well, that's the way oh. it started off so far. I thought he was huh? Maybe an uh, aggressive move here by Harris get, trying to get. Uh, Close. Richard Hart to hit and roll with yep. this one, whoa, but certainly whoa, start something. Whoa. Yep, whoa, yep, yep, hard! Whoa, hard! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Ah, yep. Hurry! Hard night, hard, hard night. Rolls a little too far. It's exposed Sorry. over on the left side of the house. Down weight. Well, Richard Hart would like to have hit and rolled behind that center guard, but the big key is that he stayed in the rings because if he didn't stay in the rings and he rolled his shooter out, there's no question Kevin Martin would go around that center guard. Down normal. You hear right away Don Bartlett is oh. up, up, up normal. Hard. Hard. Jeez. Bartlett and Ramcharan really leaned on those brushes, Skip but the stone eyes aren't too good yet. <laughs> rolls over to the other side of the ring. Sorry, Don. A little bit of a missed call by Kevin Martin. Right, he should have been right. on it early. Okay. Yeah, sorry to go. It went. Yeah, yeah, once it went. Yeah. I didn't know. I thought you wanted to just hit that on the nose. I was thinking of rolling like. Oh, a yeah. oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. close. Oh. Close, yep, whoa, whoa, whoa off. Oh, no. 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 Yep. No. Okay. Well, they keep changing the position of the shot stone, but neither side has been able to get the precise roll behind cover, that center guard belonging to Martin outside the rings. Well, you know, this is the first time they've played down here, although they've played on this ice all week. And it runs mm, fairly nice. straight with any kind of weight. Way sort of Getting the exact playing. roll the very first time is tough. Yeah. That's good. I like throwing the regular weight there. Yeah. You know, first couple ends. Oh, it's curling. It's good. 
Snares really whipped across here. Would he have board plus? Yeah. 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 Last time you had, right? yeah. Didn't finish I was surprised. Yeah, I thought Hurry. Whoa. Hurry. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hurry. Yep. No, no. It's got a nose. Kevin Martin first burst onto the national curling scene as the junior men's champion in 1985. He followed up with a Briar win in Hamilton in 1991 and last year in Calgary before that tremendous crowd at the Saddle Dome. Right. He won his second. Yeah, stayed there for quite a while, eh? You can see it's wide open. You see where Richard Hart's holding the brush right beside the rock. Mike won't throw the big weight like yep. Kevin Martin. Yep. He'll he throws hey! kind of control weight. Hey! 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 All the way! Hey! He wants to save his shooter. Okay. Now there's one thing about throwing controlled weight. You better make sure you hit the broom. You heard him say a little soft, Mike. Try Mike, even soft or just tight? It was just it was just bored. Yeah. And uh Sort of they held it at first and then it took the curl and it's gone. Oh. It was, uh, what do you do? You were, you were, you may have been on the inside half of the room, but you were pretty, pretty close to that. Hmm. So well, they've touched all the bases there. You're a little inside, you're a little soft. <laughs> <laughs> was it you used to say? Um, Two schools of thought at yes. <laughs> Real nice, eh? Kevin going to the outturn, and this is knowledge from the week because he knows the outturn at the end will work for him. It'll curl a little bit right at the end if he has the correct weight. As opposed to the intern. They played a couple of interns on the outside of that center line that run very, very straight, so that's why he's going Wait's good. now to the outturn. Line's good. A little tight me. Well, no, 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 no. Room. Okay. Wait's there. Line's good. Hurry. Yep. Hurt. Hurt. Lots of weight. Hard. Room. Wait, whoa. Room. Lots Room. of weight. Room. Oh. Back eight, back twelve. Oh no. Just one back wow. eight, back 12. Jack. Wow. And that's not a typical Kevin Martin draw. He's normally that far in front of the four foot, covering the complete four foot area. Sorry, man. Good shot. Force, force in the one. Yeah. Geez, bent in there nice. Yeah. yeah. Good shot. And Mike Harris is ignoring we got that rock. This week because we got back. We got it. Okay. And he's decided to take his but point here. Okay. Okay. The 30-year-old golf professional. He spent the past two years at the Invertel Golf Club in yep. Pischelsdorf, good. Austria. Good line. Not I certain whether he'll go line. back there this year. All line's good. Good line. will depend on what yep. happens this afternoon. Good Absolutely. line. Yep, 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 Fine. yes, yes. Strong. Okay. Well, to it. Clean, to it. Clean. Okay. To it. Clean. Uh, he's got a nice line and nice yep. weight. Yep. And he had the red Quick, stone eh? for backing as he told his sweepers and he picks up a single point here on end number two. So okay. after one end of play in this Olympic <laughs> men's final, Harris leads by one. In business today, you need every break you can get. So Canadian Airlines built a schedule to meet the needs of today's business traveler. With more flights to key business centers across Canada. And with our partner, an unequal schedule to the USA and Latin America. Where you want, when you want, the way you want to fly. Canadian Airlines. knew this day would come. I've been stretched in so many ways, but I've done all right. I've had a hand, and I've found my path. Now I'm helping my girl find hers. We take the time to understand what really matters in your life. Investors Group. 
On the Road with Jimmy Pattison. At 68, he's still building his private empire, and he's very much the man in charge. We help them make up their mind. The Gospel According to Jimmy Pattison, Tuesday night on Venture. He gives millions to the study of organized crime. I've always had a passion to unveil what's hidden. But sold intelligence equipment to corrupt governments. It's a sick joke. He is not the normal sort of run-of-the-mill businessman. The Philanthropist on the Fifth Estate, Tuesday night. A controversial procedure. He said, I've done this surgery thousands of times. To help people lose weight. Oh, it was horrifying. Did one doctor go too far? It's inadvisable that I speak to you. Marketplace, Tuesday night at 8. All this good fortune kept landing in my lap. The story of a girl who dared to dream. Her dedication took her to center stage. It's just me, little old me from Hamilton. The life and times of Karen Kane, Sunday night at 10. Sunday, we're going to rebuild it. Herbie's back. <laughs> On the wonderful world of Disney, it's an all-new The Love Bug. I hate that car. He's trying to kill us. Then... I believe that I could do the job, Mrs. Cramp. On Wind at My Back. Grace's promotion to station manager is a mixed blessing. Why did you cancel Bible Hour? The final decision was always yours. Three hours of great family entertainment, Sunday on CBC. Mike Harris of Ontario is the first to hit the scoreboard in this Olympic men's championship game. Mike's father, Bob, is sitting in the seats right now watching the action, but during the course of the game, you'll probably find him roaming the corridors of the Keystone Center. He does a lot of pacing during the matches that his son is involved in. And a lot of like? deep breathing, I'm sure. What do you like? What do you like here? So Kevin Martin has last rock for the first time. And line's, line's decent. In this Olympic He's men's easy. championship game, George carries. Line's all right. With the opening stone of N3 for the Ontario Good reps. Luck. Looks heavy. We in? Top eight? Yeah. Okay. Yep, hard. Hard, hard, hard. hard. Right. right to the four if you can. Stay easy, easy. Right to the four. Come Whoa. on. Right, 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 right up. Right up. Right up. Right up. Good shot, Georgie. Nice play. George also does some sports marketing consulting for their sponsor, JVC. All right. Well, Mike Harris threw that one into the four-foot area, saying that he wants to play it fairly wide open when he doesn't have last rock. Kevin, of course, is going to get a little bit more aggressive now in the third end. He knows the ice. He knows how his blocks are reacting. So he's going to throw up a corner guard and hopefully get something started this end. Get clean. Just clean. Just One thing about the four up. rock rule in the free guard zone, you get a lot of rocks played down the center line. And towards the end of the end, most of the rocks are congested in the four foot end. They run right down that path. Yeah, you don't get as much play out in the wings no, in the don't. four rock nope. rule. But you can always hit and roll behind uh, some of those corner guards. A little tight. How's the weight? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, line, nice. whoa. The line's good. Whoa, line, whoa. Clean. Close This now. is almost Clean. a standard procedure in the end four rock rule. Yep. First team that doesn't Tight. have last Three. rock throws it in the forward foot. The next one you throws good? it in the Hurry. corner. Hurry! Got to get to the center line. Come on. Team ah. not having okay. last rock throws the Hurry. center guard. Right over. Come on, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Perfect. Great shot. Hoping that the other team, being Kevin Martin, doesn't run them both off or come around like he's Good indicating. Stuff, New shirts and yours are dropping. Yep. Look at those black things. Picked up about three or four of them. Always have to be alert on the sheet of ice oh, for yes. anything that might impede the progress of the rock. Hurry. Okay, go hard then. The front end's Needs responsibility it. is okay, to hurry. clean the right running up. path of the rock, set the stone up for your skip. Right up hard. Come on. Quite a bit light, eh? Yeah. Come Never. with advice when you're asked, and only when you're come asked. On. Come on, first <laughs> goal, get behind that yellow one. Come on, hard, come on, right up, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good paper, guys. I think the game might be on. on Absolutely. This four rocks thrown, four rocks in play. When you do not have last rock, of course, you want the center protected. 
The majority Inch of curling more, points are scored in the yeah. four-foot area, so that you want to protect that area. Mike Harris has got one in. Three guards in up front, two protecting his shot rock. Now he's going to ask Colin Mitchell to come around and like place one decent. around those well, center guards, on, hopefully in front of the tee line. Time Behind the tee line Full is eight. danger. Full yep. eight at least. Line over. Oh, oh, more. T line, T plus. That's heavy. That's speeding up. Oh, he's all the way. Bullet. Bullet is right. There you go. I thought it might be like that on the slide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that good. I guess. <laughs> Want to give it a break? He still wasn't. I wasn't sure. Everybody's smiling and joking except the guy who threw the stone. <laughs> well, I, I think that you have to be a little bit loose. You want to keep your emotions in check here, and you know you got to stay nice and loose, stay focused, but be nice and loose. No. Okay. Well, he uh, ended up pretty fortunate there. He's got now two corner guards. Removed one guard off the center line. And moved the shot rock closer to the front of the rings as opposed to the forefoot. So not a bad shot by Rudy Ramcharan. Harris has opted to have Colin Mitchell cover He's his own stone in the enough, rings. Right? Heavy? Ah. Well, with that rock coming in, it's still uh, biting the back of the, or the front of the 12-foot. Kevin Martin could play a corner Thanks guard or go good. around the corner good. guard, end up being yeah, shot good. rock for that rock being close to the ball. Still Kevin going to the center line. Yes. Hard. Hurry. Yeah. Hurry. 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 Hard. Beauty. Oh, that's a nice shot. Well, this is something we've seen the Martin rink do so often. Just drive one back onto the other. Oh, this team has had more hits than the Beatles. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they, they love this run back game and uh, takeout game. But not to say they aren't very good at uh, playing the, the soft tap backs either because they're very proficient at that. Actually, Don, uh, that's that's one of the advantages uh, that the Martin team has. They they can get aggressive early in the end, and if things aren't going their way, they have the ability to throw the big weight and, and get rid of all the uh, trouble up front. And uh, you know, when when things are going their way, they're certainly capable of uh, making the soft shots to capitalize. A little tighter. Well, throwing those big shots and getting okay. rid of the trouble go, up front Whoa. is what did in John Kowaja in the Up's Ed way. Wernick rink Whoa, last go, night. The end. Nine Whoa. six Hard. semifinal victory by Mark. Yep. 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 Hurry! We won't mention that every again, inch. John. Hey, every <laughs> inch. Every Thanks. inch. Hey, hurry! Well, every inch, keep coming. And hurry. Harris team very uh, precise on the good. guards. I mean, they're not leaving a corner sticking out on the shot rock. They are covering that rock perfect. Bomb number one. <laughs> and you heard Don Walter say bomb number one coming. I don't think there's anybody in the game today who throws it more accurately with more speed than Don Walter. Oh, he's unbelievable. And he gets such good results. Not that he doesn't try them, but he gets good results. And a lot of his take ups. Hurt. Oh. Hurt. Hurt. He's got one. He's one. got them both. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, another great run back by look at him, look at him. Don Walchuk. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Runs them both. The only bad thing for Walchuk, of course, he left his, uh, his rock out in front to make that shot. He would leave a rock out there. You, an inch you more? see them right on, just off the center line. You an inch more? I don't Colin know. was heavy, so. eh? That? Colin was heavy. And Richard Hart yelling down to Mike Harris, give me an inch more. And they're referring to Colin's draw that he sailed through the house. He's a little bit less line, ice. Line's good. Let it go if you can. Good line. Let Getting it go. Better. How's the weight? Close. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Good line. Yep. Hard. 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 Got to go. Hurry. Hard. Hard. Hurry. Hard. 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 Well, they'd like to that one a little bit deeper. 
There's lots of room from the intern That's side right and yeah, enough room from the outturn too. side for Kevin Martin. Oh. And the rock is just half in the 12 foot. Because I thought I was going to get there. No. Don, one thing our team noticed all week was that, was that the um, going away for the odd ends, um, the ice seemed to be just a little bit stickier than on the home ends. It was just maybe three or four feet stickier. Oh, that's interesting. It looked like Kevin Martin was going to go to the outturn. Now he's Why going to the intern where he has a lot more room. Outturn was a little bit hurt. tight for him with that rock being in the hurt, 12 foot. Yeah. Hard guys. Hard. Real hard. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can't go off though. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Well, we saw the high hard one with his first delivery of this end from Don Walchuk, and he came very close to getting past that guard and perfectly burying that stone. Well, if he got by the guard, he may have wrecked onto that yellow one because it was curling big time at the end. Would have got onto that yellow one anyway. Huh? What's that? When it bumped the yellow one, probably. Yeah. Curl early compared to their guards. Uh, <clears throat> a little bit more of a run. You heard Kevin say it curled early on Don Walchuk's rock. That might indicate that maybe Donnie Walchuk turned it inside the broom, the insert in intern motion, and that why that's why he took off early. Nice, nice board. Up, yes. Hey! 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 Hurry! Hey! Okay, whoa, whoa. Ontario lies too. Well, you know, against Kevin Martin, you have to get the hit and rolls. I mean, you cannot leave rocks wide open because sure as anything, Kevin will either hit and roll behind the guard, and then you've got major problems. He's very good at it. He's got a great sense of angles. It looks angles. like he's going to hang and go the other way, but I think this will go. Yeah, I think so. There it goes. Really nice that he stayed open. I talked earlier about That's Kevin fine. Martin winning the 85 Canadian Junior Championship. In 1986, Mike Harris skipped an Ontario rank at the uh, Canadian five. Junior Championships yeah, in Red Deer, finished yeah, with a six and five record good. that year. Great. Yep. Hard. Hard, Whoa. real hard. Whoa. Hard. Whoa. Hip. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I just fell back. Hey. Martin was also looking for the hit and roll. Absolutely. Didn't get it. Now yeah, that is going to be a straight stone today. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Kevin's wife, Shauna, watching the action from one of the luxury boxes here at the Keystone Center. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Donald. <laughs> Don Bartlett taking advantage Hi, to Donna. say hello to his wife, Shauna, and his son, Stuart and Donald, back home in Edmonton. A little black thing. I don't know what it was, but it's gone. Oh, there it is. Right there. I got it. I found it. And doing a little housekeeping. We yeah, said that uh, I, I was a little tight eh? Mike Harris, so somewhat so unknown outside the province of Ontario, but in the province of yeah, Ontario, I was never, I was never in danger rolling. His okay. curling abilities are well recognized. In 92, he was runner up to Russ Howard. In 93, runner up to Russ Howard for the provincial title. He's always had to deal with Wernick and Howard it's trying to get way. out of his yep. province. Just a little. Yep. Yep. Easy. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Whoa. Whoa. No. Right off. False. No. Right off. False. False. Away. No. Whoa! Hey! Whoa. There's the roll. Ah, oh, nice shot by Mike Harris. And he's going to force Kevin Martin into making a draw full eight foot to score his point. Shot, Mike. Very nice. And Kevin's only had one draw mm -hmm. so far out of the five rocks he's thrown. You know, last night in the semifinal, I don't think Kevin Martin <laughs> threw a draw until the sixth end, did he? The fifth or the sixth end? Uh, yeah, fifth or sixth end, but he, um, yeah, he was always throwing bullets. And making them. And making them is right. I didn't turn bust so much that could easy end up on the yellow. As soon as he lets this go, the front end of uh, Rudy Ramcharan and Don Bartlett will make a decision of whether he's heavy or light. 
Okay. Hard for line. Come on. Gotta and he explained early. his reason for going to the okay. upturn because he's a little concerned about how much the intern might Close. break and wreck right. on the away. Yellowstone. We're heavy. We're back eight. Well, we're back eight. He's saying it's curling over into an area where there hasn't been many rocks hey. through. Boy, he is strong. He may go right through the back. Oh, yeah. Wow. A steal of two for Mike Harris on N3. Jeez. And obviously, Kevin Martin is not Sorry, happy Doug. with That's what right. just right. happened right. as Harris leads 3 0. There is a reason a certain organization chose Plymouth Breeze for its people. Compared to Honda Civic, the Breeze offers a lot more car for the money. There's a larger engine, longer wheelbase, and plenty of room for kids, dogs, and all your stuff, which is important because it makes it real easy to pack up and go. Especially when you're in a hurry. The road to Nagano has been long and rocky for the sport of curling. In 1988 and 1992, it was a demonstration sport still trying to win international acceptance. Well, finally, that's happened. Full medal status next year in Japan. And for Canadians hoping to represent their country, the final stop on that long journey is at hand, right here in Brandon. Across Canada, generations have played this game more ancient than the country itself. But who among them ever thought that sliding jam pails and granite on ice might one day lead to the Olympics? Ed Wernick admits he's over 50 and overweight, but challenges anyone who questions curling's Olympic ascent. If you want to compare it to other sports, then sure it belongs like I mean when was the last time you strapped a rifle on your back and went skiing with your family and did the biathlon or uh, you know uh, some stuff like that and now there's rumors of ballroom dancing being lived. so if you want to compare it to psychic night swimming would be another one like if you want to compare it to well why are they in the Olympics uh, the beauty of curling is that the great terrific strategy sport uh, strategical in many ways uh, I often refer to it as a chess game on ice Calgary 88 curling was a demonstration sport Linda Moore won gold and Ed Lukowicz made the semifinals. But national training camps that forced curlers to lose weight and look like athletes rankled the game's elite. By 1992, curling was still proving itself as a demonstration sport in Alberville, France. This time, national champions represented Canada. The Julie Sutton rink won a bronze medal in France. But the event was a bust, bad ice, and poor crowds dampened the demonstration despite the spirited effort of Sutton and her teammates. Briar champion Kevin Martin went without a medal, but the experience only reinforced his desire to get back to Nagano. You know, it meant a lot to us to go there, and it's meant a lot to me ever since, you know, being part of the uh, Olympic team. And uh, I think it, it's just, it's the pinnacle of sport, and it just means everything to you. You know, it just feels so good if you get a chance to go and represent the country. As Japan awaits curling's debut as a full medal sport, the day of decision is here in the dominion of curling. Nearly two years of qualifiers and trials will produce what most observers believe are the best rinks to go for the gold. Well, obviously, they've done something right to get the quality of field that they're doing, that they have here. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, when it comes around next time, they'll, uh, they'll let us, I mean, the same process, I think. There's not a curl in the country that can't uh, agree with that process. It's, uh, it's very fair to every team. And the curling fans in Brandon have been the big winners as the result of this gathering of Olympic hopefuls. Kevin Martin, of course, qualified for this Olympic competition based on his Briar victory last year in Calgary. And Mike Harris qualified by winning the Welton Beauchamp cash bond spiel in Ottawa in November of 1996. Various cash spiels and various major events provided spots in this Olympic qualifying event. And now we're down to the final two. Mike Harris and Kevin Martin with Harris enjoying a 3-0 lead playing in four. It's good to know I can do that. <laughs> we talked about the composure and how relaxed the Harris team has been all week. And you see more evidence of it this afternoon. Well, I think... Uh, you know, it's a nervous looseness, but uh, 
they've got control now. They're up uh, three on uh, one of the best curlers Already. in the world. Now it's up to them to try and maintain it. They don't want to panic. They just want to play exactly they play uh, all the time. Score sometimes indicates that you do different things. But for Mike Harris, I think just gathering himself and staying close <laughs> to Martin. Yeah, well, you want to move to the sea? Yeah, I'm trying to go. Too short, eh? Because you know there's going to be a lot of rocks in play now when Martin's down. More? I didn't think yeah, so. Line's uh, so right questionable. Huh. Line's okay. It's gonna over curl. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yep. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. All right, it's in. It's in. It's yep. in. Yep. Just separate him a little bit. Yep. Hurry. Get it off it a little. Okay. Well. That'll do. Just tighter. Sorry, guys. Yeah. yeah. Just turned her a little, Jordy. Yeah, I slid okay, but turned her. Right? Weight was perfect, but he turned it, and that's why it overcurled. The percentages of the respective leads, and now there's a pocket for Don Bartlett, and the stones are in the ring, so they can be removed. But Kevin Martin will not be playing takeouts. He'll just be nudging oh, these rocks back, hopefully behind the T-line, to offer him a little protection oh, yeah. back there. Line. Or he'll be trying to freeze corner it. freeze it. Wait, there, guys. that uh, Mike Harris perfect. blasts it maybe perfect. and uh, runs it onto one of his own. Oh. Stay right on the nose of him. Just T-line weight. Okay. He's just going to play uh, the red Martin Rock onto his own, putting it in the forefoot. He'd like to hit this rock. Pretty good. Red I like the weight. Martin, right a little bit on the high Weight's side. good. T line. Well, so that line. the one that he raises of his own is into the forefoot and maybe a little bit behind Carver. Needs a bit. Pulls it now. Yep. Got to move it. Got to move it. Whoa! 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 I'm leave moving it much. Leave it. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Well, both so, teams have told us shot. that under this four-rock rule, it's very difficult to protect a lead. Good it job. really is. You have to struggle and scratch and everything else because Martin being Still down is going to try and manipulate the rocks. And that's why when you look at this situation here, you want to make sure you get a lot of separation between the rocks in the top of the 12 foot and the rocks in the four foot. Uh, in Still case Kevin right Martin, who's famous for running them back, the wide a lot of separation makes it a little bit more difficult for right Martin. Up in there and rolling onto theirs. No, I can't do that. down. Hey, hurry then. Hurry. Hard for line. Oh, it's close. Hard for line. Okay, room. Line's good. Hurry. Weight's good. Weight's okay, good. Go. Lots then. of weight. Go. Stay close. Hurry. Hurry. We gotta go right back with it. Yeah. We gotta go right back. Come on. Well, he hasn't much turn on that handle, and it's just going sideways at the end. Very little rotation on that turning rock, and that's why Great it's just kind of come off the hill. It does appear as though the Yellowstone at the top of the eight foot is shot rock. This one, you might get lucky and run it right on here. Or you just pick it through the holes, also good. I like that shot, too. I like that shot. You do or not? You do? I do. Okay. <laughs> hit about a, about a third, I guess. You hit it right on there and. Yeah. Okay. Just firm. It's getting to be like snooker here. Okay. You, you're calling him across the face, hit it thin, drive your own onto the one at the back. Let's see how he does. Well, well, you have to be able to yep. move stones around. Ray! Okay. Hey! Okay. Too bad. He came very close to executing the shot. And now, all of a sudden, uh, Kevin Martin is lying first and second shot rock. The trouble with Kevin is uh, now he's getting too many rocks in the house. He has to get some kind of protection. He may go around that corner guard. Good corner freeze. Corner freeze, the top yellow. Yeah. Uh, the worry is the bump, eh? But okay. Same shot again isn't sure. bad. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. That's where you go. 
Let's go here, top eight. That's a good shot. I'm gonna go down and freeze to it. It's a tough part for Kevin. That uh, yellow rock just to the right hand side of center is available for Mike Harris Either if he gets like in that. trouble near the end. Like Man. No, we gotta go there. Is that he can bump that up. Well, Kevin's made his decision about where he wants to go. Almost the same shot as the last one from Rudy Ramjuran. Same or more. the line. Clean. The nice Clean part for Rudy is he's throwing okay. this rock in the same Clean spot. It. Hurry. Hurry. Lots so of hurry. Shouldn't know the weight. Gotta get by, Doc. Yeah. We gotta get by, though. Well, yeah, hard. Gotta go hard. Oh, come on. He's all over the guard, oh, I think. Eh? Yeah, you could almost see from his yeah, facial Mike expression when he let the stone yes. go that he wasn't okay. pleased. Yeah. Now, he's lined them all up. No, we lost that one, eh? Died on. Where do you want to hit it? A little high or right on the A little high, right there. Ah. Get onto there and it's gone. Yeah. Are they frozen, Mike? About a foot apart. Sorry? About a foot apart, six, eight inches apart. Looks like if you hit it too high, it's gonna jam at the back. Right down well, the center. We gotta, we gotta get rid of two of them anyway. Okay. He'll wait. Yeah. Watch for a so you're gonna try to make this red one on the side. He's gonna raise the yellow one onto the red one and, and hope to double them all here. off. Okay. Okay. He may get all three Maybe of them if he left. hits half a rock. Well, that's what Harris suggested yep. that he could do some house cleaning. Yep. Hey! The key is that he has to move hey! that back one. And the end result is that Harris is lying too, it would appear. And there's some oh, discussion as to whether the redstone no hit the boards on the side and they confer with an official, and in fact it did. So Harris lies too after the shot by third hard, Richard Hart. Huh? Be firm, but not too hard. Like it's normal. Yeah. Mike Harris very alert at the end, jumping on oh, that rock because it's imperative that he gets it back for third shot, maybe even fourth shot, but he really brushes it hard, and that rock is third shot at the back. Now for Don Walchuk, it's, he must try and hit this rock and Hurry. roll behind the corner guard. Oh. A nose hit. No guts. I like nose is pretty good, I think. No. But he's got to hit this. Yeah. Very same line, you might make the double. You want to try it? I don't know. What do you want to do, I don't Cole? Think it's worth it. I think We've already got one there to bump. Yeah, you're, it doesn't make any difference, I guess. We're still going to be shot here. Yeah. So. Try it again. Yeah, we'll stay right here too, which is good. Same weight? Yeah, sure. All right. He did a hits, little less, eh? about half. If he hits a quarter of a rock, he could drive it on the one at the back and make the double, but I think the big thing oh, is here, hey! he wants to make sure that he's second hey! shot after he hits this hey! way. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa. Whoa, 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 leave it there, leave it there. That's fine. Okay. Well, uh, I don't think he's second shot. Not anymore, he's not. Oh, well, they're in a really good spot for us. Yeah. Yeah, sure they are, yeah. That's why I didn't want to miss that thing wide. How about just, uh, just follow the board, wait for it. Well, as long as they don't get second, they just go around. Yeah. That's a great shot. Make a roll. Got a little yeah. bit ripped off. Yeah, though. it would have been. Got a little thicker, I guess. Yeah, here's thicker, exactly, yeah. because we kicked the one out pretty easily. I didn't mean, I was, I was kind of semi worried about that one. Well, clean. Pull off. Key for Don Walchuk is he wants to get a roll. He wants to make sure that he's shot right. Hurry. He could make the double off this. Oh, beautiful shot. Oh, I can't see that. Ha! <laughs> but I didn't save the day. Five. Is that five? <laughs> oh, they left the load. <laughs> yeah, they left it alone. All of a sudden, as he put clown. the brush to the stone, what Martin realized oh, I that... I up their rock. 
<laughs> the tea line is important, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Martin realized that the Yellowstone he was sweeping, their rock was ahead of the tea line, and he's yeah. not allowed to do that. He's only out of position by <laughs> three, three four, four feet. Tried, you think? Oh, I man. Big shot that by Don. No, that's fine. No problem at all. Absolutely <laughs> great. Watch, watch Martin here. And then all of a sudden, one, uh, hey, I can't do that. When, I, when it's here, I start sweeping. <laughs> yeah, right. And then we'll call it yeah. even. No problem. I get yeah. two feet on the next one. <laughs> that's what it's that's that's close, good. Mike. Uh, What's that? Yeah. I say it's close. Yeah, that's good even. Shot. That's fine. That's though. fine, I mean, though. Yeah. yeah. OK. That's what makes this such a great game, is that the curlers on the ice, they more or less police themselves. Yes, they do. They really do. Yes! So Mike Harris, a big oh, shot. Hey, heavy! Whoa! Yep! Yep! Hurt! Yep! Hurt! Lots of weight! Whoa! Yep. Whoa! 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 Tons of weight! Oh! I don't want to sleep there. No, oh, wait on Still wait. heavy, still wait. heavy. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! 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 Up. Whoa! Good job, Mike. Good job, Mike. Shot. That should be shot. It is shot rock, but they're just a little bit on the heavy shot. side. And Scared it just kind of stayed right beside the uh, Martin sh uh, second shot rock. But a good he draw. Scary. He's a little scary. Yeah. Well, it was curling some Look, at you see how much he's tucked in behind. Like, he's a good <laughs> foot in behind that guard. For Dude. Kevin to make the shot, he's just going to have to hair this guard and come down on top of it. Doogie, that's, uh, that's one of those situations when you're up three, you sure don't want to be getting in the hack to throwing against uh, two rocks that are buried behind a corner guard. Oh. That was actually an excellent shot, and I think he might have uh, saved, uh, saved a big end here. That's right. Any, anytime you're three up, you don't want to be finessing around corner guards and freezing the ones in the back of the 12 foot. Yep. Great. First stone for Kevin Martin on this fourth end. Hard. It's hard, guys. Real hard. Hard. Hurry. Real hard. Hard, come on. Come really on. hard. You got to keep on it, too, to get it by the next one. Hard. Come on. Come on. Hard. Come on. Oh. Oh. I got it, I got it. Boy, he said you have to stay on it to get it past that second Absolutely. red rock, and they did. I'm not too sure he didn't touch that front run, but it was very, very close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But Kevin Martin was right behind the stone all the way, yelling at the sweepers. Look at here. They're brushing they hard. Are we? Now, they yeah. get by the first one by a good couple of inches, but the danger rock is the one then top of the eight foot. Now, no does more, he touch it? <laughs> no, he just squeezes by so. it. Great shot. I have to blast, eh? I can't even, I couldn't even, like, it's over half buried, eh? Like it's way behind the guard. Touch last. Oh, line's good. Close. Line's good. Wait only. Yep, right yep. to it. Line's good. Line's good. Good real, line. Real, real, real. Yes. Great. Yes. Right. Doesn't need any. Whoa, real. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, close. Yeah. Hey. Hey. touch absolutely a phenomenal touch and John like you said you don't want to be playing these shots but if you're going to play them you better make them well that's what that's why you finished first in the round robin he was making those kind of shots all week striving hard to become the best known Mike Harris in the province of Ontario <laughs> and he forces no. Kevin to draw for one and any time you're playing this type of competition you hold the opposition to one when they have last rock. You've done your job. Prior to Harris delivering the final stone, you heard Walchuk and Martin saying maybe we'll have to blast, but that doesn't exist now. Well, you can't blast because the rocks are really in behind the corner guard and there's no room to blast. Now, Kevin, this is his third draw in this game, or fourth draw. You should good. know the weight down that side, but they got to go hard. Oh, good this time. He's got a oh, nice room. line. Wait there. Oh, the line's good. Oh, room. Yep. Oh. Line's good. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Clean. Clean. Yep. Clean. We're good. The final stone of N4 for Kevin Martin, and he draws fully into the eight foot to pick up a single point and hit the board in this Olympic men's final. Harris leading by two after four ends.
At Altamira, if one of our funds isn't performing, we have to answer some tough questions. Yours. I just started my family. Will this be too risky? Let's focus on long-term growth. Markets go up and markets go down, but good or bad, you can call us and get information that comes directly from our fund managers. Can your investment company say that? Altamira, helping you take control. The new wizard can remove grout. Clean a golf club. Sharpen tools. Cut right through this screw. Soon your TV will have over 500 channels. Almost enough to show you everything the new wizard can do. The new wizard, built by Black & Decker. Give your handyman the VersaPak Combo Pack. Cordless tools that give him so much power, it just may be too much of a good thing. Get the Cordless Combo Pack. Powered by VersaPak, built by Black & Decker. In a city. This has become way deeper than it was supposed to. A neighborhood. You think I'm trying to seduce you? Tangled lives. We have a problem. A shark, a kid. Family. I think I'm losing this baby. Friends. I wish it was me that got shot, right? Lovers. God, I wish I could see you. I love you, you know. A dramatic soap opera that will take you into the very heart of a city. Riverdale. Mondays and Tuesdays at 7 on CBC. Now at a desktop near you, CBC's new internet homepage. Interactive, up-to-date, and personal. You can even customize a schedule of your favorite CBC shows. We're just a click away, cbc.ca. Anything goes, everyone's welcome. You can't be meeting the people who watch you every day. Tina. It's really great. Meeting them face to face, shaking their hands. They just seem so happy to be here. And Brent. It's so what we are. Midday, part of your community, weekdays at noon. Thursday. Your daughter had a stroke. A tragedy brings the family to despair. She doesn't know me. She has a home. We have a little baby. What's happened? I need some help here. North of 60, Thursday. You're not the only boat builder on the East Coast. I got a call from my lawyer. He's wondering about the divorce papers. You always get what you want, don't you? Your brother is out of control, and you've got to do something. Black Harbor, Wednesday. The Keystone Center in Brandon, a facility that accommodates just over 5,000 people, has attracted better than 100,000 people this week to these Olympic curling playdowns. And they're watching the men's final between Kevin Martin of Alberta and Mike Harris of Ontario. And as we play N5, Harris has a 3-1 lead. And wherever you're looking in this afternoon on the CBC Television Network, we hope you're enjoying the action. Some of the people in the private boxes just below our broadcast facility, and they have access to television monitors as well as having some of the best seats in the house and a, a constant supply of food and beverage as well. And I think they went for $1,000 a seat, didn't they, do? Yes. And they were snapped up quickly. Yes, they sold all of them, every one of them. And that's the wave of the future. Something that maybe the uh, Labatt Briar Committee is thinking of for Winnipeg in guys. March. I'm sure they're looking at it. Far as it goes. Far as it goes. Right up. Right up. Well, this is kind of unfamiliar waters for uh, Kevin Martin. At the beginning of the week, he was down quite a few points, but uh, usually when he gets down to the semifinals or finals in any event, uh, he's very uh, seldom knows? behind. So this is kind of a be, new uncharted waters for him. It's going to be interesting now. to see how he attacks it. Tons of room. Mike Harris is going to go around. right after him right away. There's a corner got up, up Whoa, off the center line, which is good for Mike way Harris. Out. Whoa, wait there. Got way out. Generate some offense. Way, way out. Oh. Getting better. Yep. Maybe tight. Hurry! Come on, bring it on. All the way on. Come on, hard, 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 hard. All the way on. All the way on. All the way on. Out of line. Good weight. Well, George Carey's, in addition to being a fine curler, does a lot of work in promoting the sport of curling. He runs a heart-to-heart -heart junior bond spiel in Ontario that uh, has raised about $70,000 for the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Yes, he's heavily involved, and he's got to be very proud of that. And he has his top 12-foot weight because he's played about three or four draws, and they've all just nuzzled, biting the 8-foot. 
Well, it's nice to know these days that someone in the Postal Service is delivering. Line will be good. Line will I be like good. I like that. It's going to need it. Just to wait. It's going to need it. And he delivers it well. Stay close. One of the top leads in this game of curling. Yeah, come on now. Come on. Hurry, sir. Come on. That four is really straight, eh? They are still concerned Maybe about the way first. some of those stones are running. It's giving me too much ice. Sorry. Rudai will sink one in there. Almost all? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Almost all? <laughs> Seven eighths. Okay, well, I can so tell you, Donnie pack, Walchuk pack, keeps them nice and loose all the time. It all starts out with that fake nose that he yeah. wears. <laughs> he <laughs> gets them loose. <laughs> That's pretty good. Is it? A little light light of weight, light of weight, light of weight. Whoa, oh, no. light of weight. How's the weight? Light. Yep. It's got enough to go through, Whoa. though. Just enough. Yep. Just enough. Whoa. Whoa. Weight's good, Mike. Whoa. Weight's lost. Whoa. Get over there, Rich. Bit of work, bit of work, Rich. Bit of work, Rich. Bit of work. Come on, hard. Hard, 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 Ah, oh, that's a nice Great touch. 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 On the left, Leanne, the wife of uh, no Ontario second, Colin Mitchell, George Carey's girlfriend, Jeanette Lee, oh, and George's parents, Which Tom and Gail, right? watching the action here at the Keystone Center. <clears throat> Wait, up. Okay. And things are nicely Please, set up no. so far for uh, Mike Harris Hurry. to score two here. Whoa. Shot ready. Okay. Very nice. And as they call him Rudy, makes a great shot. Well, Don Walchuk predicted that. He said uh, to Don Bartlett, oh, Rudy will bail us out. He's had a strong week. He's been a bit of a good luck charm for this Whoa. team. Uh, he didn't join the Martin team until December of last year, and of course, a couple of months later, uh, they won the Levant Prior in March uh, of '97, and here they are playing for a uh, chance to go to Nagano. So he's he's been a good luck charm for this team. That wasn't the plan. Well, his counterpart for Ontario has struggled this afternoon, and Colin Mitchell removes his center, own yeah. stone. <laughs> well. You know, we said at the beginning of the show, this type of ice, you cannot afford it's to play big, yeah. strong takeouts, heavyweight takeouts. You have to kind of let the rock go yeah. and maybe just play hack or board maximum weight. Anytime you overthrow it, that rock will run straight. And if you ever flip it wide of the broom, you're toast. You're done. Weight's there. Yeah, lots, lots, lots of, of weight. Lots of weight. Stay Wait. close, though. T line. T line is perfect. Turn the T. Over there. Turn the T. See, this Don Walchuk knows oh, what oh. he's talking about. <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> they were lying too. Now uh, yeah, Kevin Martin's team is lying too behind guards. 33 year old Rudy Ramcharan coming through with two big shots on this fifth end. Yep. Now Colin Mitchell got the stone out front, but I know. Oh my God. his expression pretty much tells the story of what has transpired on this end. Yeah, when you're up on Kevin Martin, you got to make sure you close the door. I mean, you cannot Five throw eight. rocks like Colin just threw and expect Cigar to get away with it. That looks like a lot of ice for me. You put a lot of pressure on the you third guard? skip Obviously. to bail you out. Huh? Guard? Yeah, right here. Okay. The 88 and 89 championships won by Don Walchuk were with Pat Ryan. You know, Kevin Martin tapped the ice where he wanted Wait the rock to stop, sure. and that was to cover the outside of the curving rock. Maybe leave the intern open where oh, the there hasn't good. been many rocks thrown. Might and that's part of the game. Halfway. Of strategy. Whoa, then. Whoa, it's over Changing a turns. Forcing the opposition oh. maybe to throw a turn they don't want to throw. That's exactly what he's done. Perfect. Three quarters. 
That little deep? No, that's about right, eh? Three quarters is okay, though. Oh. oh. Close. Whoa. Right. Oh. Right. Okay. Okay, no worries. Those two red stones in the rings remain untouched. They belong to Kevin Martin, and that's the margin by which he trails Mike Harris playing this fifth end. And what the front end and uh, Richard Hart are hoping for Mike Harris that, that he has his draw weight because it's the way this end is shaping up. He's going to have to be forced to play an intern draw to the button to save the end. A little quieter. Well, it's not bad. Well, line Got to move, pretty, though. Well, line Got looks pretty good. A little wider this time. Clean. No, here it comes. How's the line? Uh, might overcurl. Come on, it's real go. good. Well, well, uh, good shooting, Don. Good shooting is right. The guard is sometimes the most difficult shot in curling because it is slowing down or dying, hey. and it's curling it's at the curl. same time. So to stop in the exact location is Not tough. Deep enough. Huh? Huh? Pretty good shot. Yeah. He's always going to have this come around bump. Yeah. Because you can't afford to leave the. The middle one, eh? And now Mike Harris has decided right that, he, that guard is a long way out. Hey! He wants hey! to move the rock off hey! the forefoot. Hey! For hey! 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 All the way! All the way! All the way! All the way! Whoa! 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 Oh, what a great shot. What a nice hey! touch by Richard Hart. Right out, Carl Hart. And well, just enough to push that stone, it would appear, out of the back of the 12 foot. But boy, did they have to brush to get it past the guard. Well, that's the secret. You'll see them really brushing hard, and he squeezes by the rock by a good inch. Now the question is, has he enough weight to pump that rock off the forefoot? See, being very alert at the T-line, sweeping right through. And here you see it again. He gets by the first one, second one. Good brushing behind that T-line and just pushes it through the circles. I said that stone at the back was off the rings, but if it comes down to that one, whoa, possibly whoa. being a counter, they might measure. Whoa. Close, whoa. Floating, floating. No, no. Stay close. Whoa. Trying to get a little bit of an inside roll here. This is where roll he's got come a on, beautiful guys. shot. Roll it. Rudy, Rudy. Great shot. Hard. Very nice. Now you see Mike Harris tapping. Yeah. That's a good shot. Huh? Yeah, it would have nice to roll a little further. But... Two misses, guys. I'm calling for both. I'm all right. Mm. No, that's good. That's good. Uh, I need an inch oh. more. Same thing. Well, he has to make sure that he's got the correct weight. No. He just wants to come down here, hit this one, and move it exactly yeah, it the same shot as his third band played. But the Whatever key here is the there. weight, and the long guard allows him the luxury it's of fair. getting by it by a couple of inches yeah. and still making contact with the shot nice. rock. I only got about a third of that. There you see it. And he can only see about a third of the stone, Hack. as he oh. said. Weight oh. is the oh. critical factor no. here. Oh. Not that bad. Oh. Light oh. He may be a little too heavy here. That rock doesn't appear as though it's going Finish. to bend enough. No. Finish. That little extra weight, it'll stay absolutely uh, straight. You want the red one, that is. Hey! Hey, hard, 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 hard. Okay. That's fine. That'll do. Got like eight you hear him say that'll do, that'll do, and that's right, because he's moved the rock off the four-foot area, so if he's forced to draw, he has to draw full eight. But Kevin Martin, if he puts it in there. Good job, Mikey. Yeah, it does trick. Jesus. Just a hair full, and it stayed there. Yeah, but you might have, you would have got away with it. It just sort of, you can see it track, and it didn't take that big curve. Look at this, you turned around here. A little late, you'll get to the button on it. Should be lost, I would think. See, they're already thinking ahead, but no matter where Kevin Martins put, puts his rock, what do you think the intern does here? And they haven't thrown many interns. It did. They threw one draw down there. It moved big time for him. Well, that's something 
you have to do is think two or yes. three rocks ahead yep. at all times. In this case, it's only one rock ahead, but uh, mine's good. They're planning. Mine's good. Their strategy. Room. Whoa, then. Room. Clean. Getting tight. No, room. mine's good. Room. 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 Oh, wait. Whoa, right off. Right off. Right ah. off. Right off. Whoa. Well, he wants to make sure he stays in front of that T line. I like him. A little deeper than he wanted. Yes, he's about uh, a foot deeper. The big thing about it, though, he buried right behind the guard, so now he's going to force Mike Harris to play the intern draw. And there hasn't, there's only Thanks. been one draw thrown out here. And Mike, you heard him ask sure. Richard Hart. As close to the button as we can get, I guess. What weight they should use Let's for an intern draw. Eight, nothing stupid, eh? And then. Uh, John Kawaji, the ice run the same, in turn, out turn here. Yeah, it's been pretty consistent. Uh, actually, yeah. uh, this spot might curl just a little bit more than the out turn spot. Um, the, the critical area is actually just at the edge of the four foot. When you get out into the eight foot, it'll, it'll come back for you. So he should be able to get to the button here. Gotta go. You hear him say, gotta go right away. Wait only. Find a room. Room, room, T line. Take a look. Off. Line's good. Take a look. He's A on the T. Getting better. Good Off. line. T line. Yeah! Hey! 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 It's okay. It's okay. Oh, whoa. Oh. Hey! Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. How's that for a touch? Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful touches, right? You know, I said earlier in the end, you gotta have that forefoot. So under pressure, Mike Ooh. Harris comes through. After five, he leads by three. Welcome back to the Wheat City, Brandon, Manitoba, and at the five and break, Mike Harris has a 4-1 lead over Kevin Martin of Alberta. Kevin's only point, a hit and stick for one in the fourth end, and he's with me now here on sheet D. Kevin, uh, it looked like a defensive uh, game to start with, and then uh, you gave up the deuce there in the third to go down 3-0. Uh, yeah, it was actually a very quick spot. Um, now the ice is quite a bit quicker than yesterday, and it uh, caught us off guard a little bit to start. What about uh, the next five ends? Are you going to come out uh, shooting like uh, you're accustomed to and throw the kitchen sink at, at Mike in the sixth? Well, we'll give it our best goal anyway. We're in, uh, we're in a little bit of trouble right now. What do you think about the ice conditions you've been playing with? I know you lost one on some real keen ice in the house. Well, yeah, it was a little keener yesterday, but it's a great surface, no problem. Uh, we've got a handle on it now. Hopefully it's not too late. All right, Kevin, good luck in the next five ends. Great, Kevin Martin, now let's go up to the booth, and here's Don Whitman and Don Dugan. All right, Mark, and uh, Don, what would your strategy be if you were in Kevin Martin's shoes? Well, you can see him making a little bit of a comeback there in that end because he had, there were three rocks in play, but Mike Harris has got his draw weight, and that's going to be very difficult for Kevin Martin. So I think he knows that. He's going to have to throw a lot of rocks out in front and maybe bump them up and maybe put a little bit more pressure on Mike. Well, people talked about Mike Harris, and he certainly was not one of the favorites coming into this competition. But, boy, under pressure as he made some shots, and we saw evidence of it on the fifth end with the draw to the button. Well, he's very calm. He's very cool. You know, he was. they were lying, too. He come around a corner guard, made a great freeze, and then followed up with his last rock, making a, made another great freeze. So he has the draw weight, and that's good for him. He doesn't want to get in a shootout with Kevin Martin. He's got to play exactly the way he's playing now, take his one when he's got last rock, and just keep control of the game. Is it going to be a little more difficult for him to defend, though, under this four-rock, three-guard zone? Oh, no question. I mean, anytime you've got four rocks out in front, you've got a lot of problems. You're never safe. And I think Harris knows that, and he, and he realizes that, and so he's going to have to play aggressive no matter whether he's up or down. All right, let's go down to ice level now and join Mark Lee. All right, thank you, Don. And this is the way Mike Harris's rink has scored in the first five. He got one in the second with a nice hit and stick, and then that big steal of the deuce in the third to go up 3 nothing, and then a beautiful draw to the button in the fifth to open a three-point lead, 4-1. And Mike Harris, uh, we've been saying all week how uh, leads are hard to protect with this four-rock rule. What do you think? Well, I kind of like being up uh, without last rock, actually. You know, you can control the end a lot better. You throw one in top eight foot, and now uh, Kevin's pretty well forced to throw a corner guard. And then we can either guard or throw another one in there, depending on uh, where our first one stopped. And I like uh, I like kind of being up with without last rock. Actually, it's uh, you know with with the hammer, you're just you're guessing. You, know, you throw a couple center guards up there, and then you get into a little bit of mess like we did that last time. Mike's a lot been made about you not being outside of Ontario at the national level like this for the first time, but you're looking so cool, and you've got great touch on your draw weight. Yeah, I settled down. Uh, I was pretty nervous at the beginning of the game there, and it was lucky for us. Kevin threw it in. We could hit out the first end, and. Uh, you know, now obviously with that 
draw. I feel really confident with my draw weight now, and uh, you know, I think uh, you know we're happy the way things are going. Obviously. All right, Mike. Thanks for your time, and good luck uh, the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mike Harris of Ontario, who has a 4-1 lead over Kevin Martin of Alberta after five ends. When we come back, we'll meet Canada's Olympic curling team coaches here in Brandon. No, he isn't. I mean, I, I don't know anything about mutual funds. He's part of an independent study. Actually, I, I wrote down a few questions. To find out who offers the best mutual fund advice. The answer for two years running, TD Investment Specialists. It's been very helpful. We're here to help make it easier. brings the family to despair. She doesn't know me. She has a home. We have a little baby. What's happened? I need some help here. North of 60, Thursday. You're not the only boat builder on the East Coast. I got a call from my lawyer. He's wondering about the divorce papers. You always get what you want, don't you? Your brother is out of control, and you've got to do something. Black Harbor, Wednesday. of fear blowing through the corridors of power in Ottawa. Am I fighting for my privacy? I was born on January 30th, 1931. Hey, where the hell are you going? The CBC can kiss my ass. This hour has 22 minutes Monday. On the road with Jimmy Pattison. At 68, he's still building his private empire, and he's very much the man in charge. We help make up their mind. The Gospel According to Jimmy Pattison, Tuesday night on Venture. To get an idea just how deep the competition is here at the Olympic Trials, all you have to do is look at the front of this sweatshirt. The names of all the Canadians hoping to represent Canada in Nagano are right there. But two people already know they're going. They're the Olympic coaches and they have been pre-selected. Lindsay Sparks has been doing double duty in Brandon, here both as the fifth and coach of the Kelly Law Rink of BC and as the women's Olympic team coach. It's great, you know, I, the, just the whole sense of camaraderie that is here this week. I mean, every team could make it. Uh, I'm very proud to be here with the Kelly Law team. They're a wonderful team, and, and we work very well together. But I've also had the experience of working with, with um, several of the other teams here at World Championships. So I feel very confident that whoever represents Canada will be a fine representative, and, uh, and certainly I'm very pleased to go with them. This week in Brandon Sparks and Jim Waite, the men's Olympic coach, have kept close contact with the trials. They've been groomed to step in and lend advice to the eventual champs. Lindsay and I have been doing this now for five years with, uh, with our national teams going to the Worlds, and we work together. And I think we both bring something a little bit different to the table for, uh, for both of the teams. My background, uh, besides doing some competitive, is uh, as a national official and the, the head umpire at the Worlds. So I know a lot of the political people that you have to know to get things done over there. Lindsay has played in uh, several tournaments of hearts and she played in the 88 Olympics when it was a demonstration sport. So she brings that to the table. So I think between us, we make a pretty good team to, uh, to help our teams win when they get on the, uh, the world stage. In the sport of curling, because we're dealing with mature athletes here and as you say I mean these teams have prepared very well to get here and to win so um, 
it will just be as uh, in a support role as how we can help them best prepare for the Olympics. We think it's important that there's a, a come down period after those trials because whoever wins there is going to feel a sense of elation and joy at winning such an event but then they have to have their come down period and start the preparations for the Olympics and I don't think anybody can say that those trials will be more important than Olympic gold. I think that will be the ultimate for any curler. But most observers believe that in Japan the Canadians who survive this trial will be the favorites for gold. Jim Waite waiting to see who he'll take with him to Nagano on the men's team and right now Mike Harris is the leading candidate. We're back after this. Another Nokia discovery. Hands do not have sharp edges. So neither do our phones. At Nokia, we design them with soft round corners to better fit the human hand, not to mention the human pocket or purse. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia. Connecting people. When you bleed, the stress would go out with it. People who cut themselves. A private hell of growing proportions. It's huge. It's much bigger than people believe. I'm Stephen Hunter. Join me for the health show. Thursday. Hiding in the shadows of the Canadian dream. What's it like to live in a country that no longer welcomes you? It was either lie or, or go back. Illegal immigrants. Three stories of hide and seek. Thursday night at 8 on Witness. Shopping has a soundtrack. Jay, what's the deal with the music? I don't know, we try to offend everyone. Buying a piece of the vibe. Undercurrents, Tuesday at 7.30. He's original, he's got the look, he's got the moves, and he's back on CBC. Mr. Bean, Wednesday at 8.30. Anything goes, everyone's welcome. You can't be meeting the people who watch you every day. Tina. It's really great. Meeting them face to face, shaking their hands, they just seem so happy to be here. And Brent. It's so what we are. Midday, part of your community, weekdays at noon. I just want the facts. One of the hottest series ever to air is now on CBC. We were able to take you live into the... He's crazy about you. <laughs> the story stands. I'm not going to back down now. Stay with it. ENG on CBC weekdays. Go! It's just for laughs. God meant for me to be naked. Wow! You naughty man. We just came here to have a good time. That is wild! Nothing is sacred. Oh, those are great shots you got there, Dentist. How'd you get my teeth to pose together like that? Expect the unexpected. Somebody seek some counseling. Just for Laughs, Comedy Mondays. Welcome back to the men's final of the Canadian Olympic Curling Trials here at the Keystone Center in Brandon, Manitoba, where Mike Harris leads Kevin Martin 4-1 at the halfway point. Joining me here on the ice, our game day analyst, John Kawaja. John, uh, what do you make of the complexion so far at the halfway point? Well, it's been an interesting game. Uh, obviously, uh, Mike had a, uh, got a huge break in the third end when, when Kevin Martin was, was heavy on his on what was thought to be a pretty routine draw. And uh, maybe Kevin might be a little tight. But uh, since that time, uh, Kevin's put an awful lot of pressure on, on uh, the Harris team, and, and Mike in particular. And uh, he's had to make three great shots in the last uh, two ends to keep his team in. All right, put yourself in Kevin Martin's shoes. Uh, what sort of strategy would you take going out in the sixth? Well, I think you'll see Kevin be really aggressive here in the sixth end. Uh, you know, when you're down three with only five ends to play, you've got to score multiple points uh, every time you have the hammer. And, and he's going to be real aggressive here in the sixth and throw the kitchen sink at him. And Mike Harris? Well, Mike's going to try and uh, control the game. He's going to try and control the front of the uh, front of the rings. He's going to probably throw it in here a couple of times and uh, start peeling. Certainly, uh, Mike Harris feeling no pressure here. Uh, before his first uh, national audience uh, as a curler outside of Ontario with a three-point lead after five. Enter the McCain Passport to Rock contest. You 
you and a friend could win an all-expenses-paid trip to see your favorite Sony music artist anywhere in North America. You pick the band, you pick the city. You could choose to see a hot artist like the Soul Attorney. There's lots of rocks in play. Mind you, for Mike Harrison, the fifth end, it's a good thing he did have that. <laughs> right. Because he was, uh, but his strategy in that end might have been different, too. Oh, sure, that's right. But it's not as important uh, to have last rock in the four-rock rule or the three-rock rule prior to that. I mean, you know, when we were playing, I mean, Last Rock was, got, it was everything. You had to hold on to it. But it's not so prevalent now. Well, not much uh, difference, as you can see on the screen in time. The Red Rocks being played by Martin uh, have used up a little more than the man who is leading this championship game. Mike more, Harris more, on, of Ontario, but they're they're at about where they should be at the yes, midpoint of the game. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, they're 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 playing fairly quickly, but now uh, with Martin being down, there's going to be a lot of uh, guards being thrown up and little tap backs because he has to uh, uh, save his rocks and hopefully get him in the four foot area behind some kind of protection. And like John Kawaja says, he has to score multiple points. He cannot afford to score one with last rock. He has to get a couple to get back in this game. Well, Don Bartlett, the lead for uh, Kevin Martin's team, asked us to say hello to his grandfather, Bert, in Corner Brook, Newfoundland, and also to his mother and father, Joyce and Al, in Gander, Newfoundland. Come on, hard. Come on. All your worth. Come on. Come on, guys. Hard. Right up. Right up. Come on, Don. Right up. Now that's what I call a long guard. Side guard. And that's a little too far out. Okay. Don't you agree, John? Freeze is not bad. Yeah. Tight or freeze. Whatever you like. And it's going to allow Mike Harris the opportunity to come around it. The thing with long oh, guards, Don, is God's that way. you can miss freeze. the front yep. guard by a foot and Whoa. still be buried. The closer yep. you come to the rings, the tighter you have to yep. go around it to be buried. Okay. Room. Lots of weight. You're doing freeze, the freeze, Mike. Freeze, yeah, freeze tap. Whoa. Freeze tap. Whoa, let it no go. Line, no line, no line, no. No. Very nice. And pretty nice execution by George Carey. Sorry, guys, a little much. Just a touch heavier than he really wanted. Well, that's not bad. He's moved the rock uh, onto the one foot, and uh, that's going to have to be moved by Kevin Martin if he's going to expect to score a point this end. Look at the percentage for carries. Oh, 98%. Yep. Hard. He's hot. Clean. Well. No, line's good. Line's good. Clean now, you see the type of weight that Don well. Bartlett's throwing here. He's not throwing He's to take the rocks out. He's just move, trying to move him into hurt. the back of the forefoot. Good. And the reason he's doing that, he, that's offering him a little bit of protection back there because now maybe if Mike Harris plays the take it on this one, he may drive it onto those rocks at the back. And even if he doesn't, there's something to come up against. Manipulation is the key word at this stage when you're no, trailing. Absolutely. Manipulation and putting your rocks in a position to maybe raise them into the forefoot area or raise them to freeze to rocks. Solid board. Whoa. Heavy. Close. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Close. Close. Oh, no, never. Thank you. Really heavy. Okay. That's really heavy. You heard Mike saying really heavy, and you're right. He would like to have a, a little bit of an inside roll because now there's a kind of an opening there from the intern and the outturn side for Kevin Martin to come down and freeze to these rocks. Same way, Kevin. It's very hard to generate points when the opposing team's rocks are in front of the T line. When they're behind the T line, you can generate a lot of points. Lots of weight. Of weight. Hold it. Oh. Awesome. Line's pretty good, just for weight. Lot of there. Weight. Okay. Lot of weight. Hurry. Still there. Hurry. Hurry. Still there. Good. Good. Yeah. Well, as we told the story last year at the Labatt Briar in Calgary, Rudy Ramcharan was on a plane with Kevin Martin, persuaded him to give him an opportunity to try out for the team, and 
I think Kevin's pretty happy he made that decision, and I think Rudy's Firm, eh? pretty Still happy firm. he got the opportunity yeah. to play. Well, you know, we were talking about that long guard. And Rudy Ramtran missed it by about a foot, and he still oh, completely Wayne. frozen, yep. buried behind on the button. And that was the bad part about that long guard. Not better. It worked out. So. And now Mike Harris is not going to take any chances because he knows that center guard could prove to be a real problem for him, so he's run it off. Not a better throw. Yeah, yeah. Because now if he's making contact, he's making contact with rocks in the house, as opposed to maybe finessing it around guards. John, do you like the way this is shaping up for Mike Harris this end? Well, I think what Kevin Martin's doing right now is to, to delaying uh, the offensive uh, situation. Line. He's going to uh, throw it short a couple of times and, and let Mike peel a couple of times. Then I think you're going to see uh, Kevin um, throw the draw tap on his own red rock okay. to move that Line's yellow good. back about a foot so Line's that uh, there's a pocket of two yellow rocks on the far. back of the forefoot. Yeah, oh. I think he's going to make Mike Harris waste a couple of rocks running off uh, the good. guards. Not only do you have to be planning your own strategy, you also have to be yeah, and a second open. guessing your opponent as to what Turned he on. might attempt. Yeah, Absolutely. Trying kind to of wait. Just out. Okay. And that rock really curled a long yeah. way for Rudy Ramcher, and like it came right off, and you can almost see the full red one. Touch heavy. Whoa. Whoa! Touch heavy. Close. Yep. yep. Hey! Three. Hack! Hard! Hooray! Hard! Whoa! Hooray! Hard only! Hard! Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> Bob well, Martin still has the shot stone. Well, now he'll just play a corner freeze on that oh, one, or maybe like just that. a little bit of a tap. Oh, I like the call. You had to make a move there, George. You can't leave him frozen to us there. Yeah, that's true. What are you going to do, rip off a missed little? guard? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Let them rip all in, then we tap for two at the end. Just bump it a little. It's T line. Now, with this shot, Kevin Martin is trying to put a rock in position where maybe he can utilize with Donald Paulchuk's last one or his first one. Right there. Well, then. Don, the key room. on this anyway. shot is to is the sh the rock uh, the yellow rock that they're tapping is the real key rock here. They Wait have to tap it. that to a spot that will help them. Okay, we're, we're if there. they tap it a little too far, I think Hurt they down. might they might Hurt. even leave the red double. Yes, that's the, just there. That's the bad part. Maybe a little short. Hold in. Shot, Don. It's all right. Oh, board, you take this out. Well, it really curled big time, and it's wow, did it ever die? Yeah, did it ever? Jeez, want to get that thing there? Yeah. Looked like it picked. It must have picked it something. Because it yeah. curled. It was out there and it curled. Yeah. Mike Harris yeah, can pick this red one yeah. right out of there. But he certainly doesn't want to touch his own. You can see it it's sticking half out. Well, yep. Yep. Hey! Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Right off. Nothing. Well, oh, he upped his weight big time. Boy. Oh, great shot. For a minute, it hung out a long, long time there. And like you heard Mike Harris say, nothing. He's got nothing. But it moved for him. You don't think I'm tight? Call him off. <laughs> You'll so see. They never laid a brush to this that. all the way down. Well, and he did. just yeah, catches a corner of the rock. Pretty good. Mike Harris lying to. <laughs> Almost got to bump this up, don't you? Yeah. As you saw in the percentages, both thirds, Richard Hart and Don Walchuk, have been curling up a storm in this oh, Olympic final. Huh? Or just died? Just died. Really? I think uh, Walchuk wants to bring that rock and try to quarter freeze it right in that position. He wants to, uh, he doesn't want to touch it behind his other red one. He wants to Bumping corner freeze it. Well, you know, whether you've been curling for a long time or a novice to the game, in, right you have to marvel oh. at the precision of some of these oh. shots, how they can Back bring 12, the stone hurt. to within Back about 12, a quarter hurt. of an inch or even closer hurt. on some of these shots. Hurt. Hurt. 
That's not that time for uh, Don. Don Walchak. It's not Four. bad though. Shot, Don. We'll manufacture something out of this. Huh? Yeah, not bad. What's ideal then? I think you got to try to. Uh, try to bump it right into there. You got to try to bump it over there. We stay there. He's. Uh, I guess he'll probably. Uh, well, he'll be able to make this double, but as long as we bump this one in here, it should make be clear. A triple. The triple will be there if you bump it over. Sure will. Yeah. We'll be staying right there. Stay right there, over to there. Yeah, it'll be close, won't it? Yeah, off the back of his too. I think you got to play it anyway. <laughs> what do we can get to there? Yeah, you bump it. You could give the triple pretty easily that way too, couldn't you? But as long as yeah, we get to there. Change, no, but if you move this, if you move yeah. it two inches, yeah. it's got, it's done. Well, I think the triple's pretty easy. I mean, you can make the triple and roll Barry by yeah. this shot. Doogie, I, I think this is a situation right that's that's really being dictated by the score uh, because because uh, Mike Harris is up 4-1. I mean, he's you're thinking there. that a little this bit. He's actually probably calling like the right shot by okay, throwing the draw, uh, but it's tough to do when you're up three points. Yes. Yeah, you still got two shots left to get it out of there, though. We'll have well, one that's right. I think house. you have to go in that well, area. Two. You're right, Sorry, John. Two. I mean, when you're up four to one, you don't want to be throwing draws and trying to create pockets. It looks like he's decided to hit this one on the. We'll see. <laughs> you see, that's I a. I don't like anything, really. <laughs> everybody's a little bit paranoid uh, with Kevin Martin because he's so good at making the doubles and triple yeah. takeouts. Well, but Father I mean, Bob is doing his pacing. He can't bear to watch this shot. Wait. Board wait. Triple's there no matter what we do. For Mike Harris, if he hits half this rock on and maybe yeah. moves a shooter off the button. In behind the uh, two on the right hand side, he could get out of the sand, but no matter what you do, he's certainly going to set up a double and maybe a triple. Close. No, no, no. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, you get two on my Ontario's Mike Harris lies three. Well, the nice thing about it, uh, there is no triple there now. Kevin Martin hit, hits it on the nose. He's going to spill two of them, but the back one's still oh, going to be yeah. shot rock. Yeah, lined it up pretty good. No, no, we'll have to hit it. So oh, it's no, not bad. Yeah. There's no chance that top yellow stone would slide through. No. Nope. Two. Because the other one's kind of tucked in behind him. And even if Kevin Martin hits and sits there, then Mike Harris has got a chance for a double to lie three. Kevin Martin goes across the face. I think he'll he'll miss the one double and maybe make the back double. But I uh, I stopped guessing with Kevin Martin. Anything can happen. Whoa! Hurry! Whoa! Whoa! Ah. Whoa! 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 Oh, no! I don't believe that. I don't. I asked you that I question. I don't believe that. I asked that question. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Come on, go. Kevin. <laughs> now, and all that, Jeez. I didn't see who was second shot ball. here. What? Look at this. They don't lay a brush to it all the way down. They're just running beside the rock. Look at this. That's unbelievable. That's a little bit fortunate, too, let me tell you. I had it all figured out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Mike Harris couldn't figure that one out. I don't know how you could. Anyway. No, we don't have much choice. Yeah, that's that's a little bit fortunate because if he hits it thicker, he just gets a double. If he hits it thinner, yeah, he doesn't get anything. What does Dickie think? Think that's too much? You think so or not? Yeah, that's good there. That's okay. an inch less. That's good. Same uh, same weight I just threw, I guess. Eh? Yeah. The final stone of the sixth end for Mike Harris, leading by three. Hairmore. Wait only, Hairmore. lots of room. Just a hair more. Heavy. Oh no. Heavy. It's not heinous. Whoa. No. no line. Make sure it's past ours. Where do you want it? Get it past ours. 
line. You're going to get a pass stars. He doesn't want to C-line. set it up. Careful. He doesn't oh, mind giving him two, but he doesn't want to give him three. Stars. That's it. That's all over this. Yep, Boy, yep, that's yep, yep, yep. Wide open. Well, a chance for Kevin Martin to get within oh, one. He needs to hit and stick with his final stone on the sixth end. John, did you think that triple was there? Well, he had to hit it very close to the nose. and uh, Exactly what he did. The triple was there, but he, he didn't stay for second shot. And as, as soon as he uh, played that shot, it, it looked like uh, there was a decent chance he was going to get his chance for, uh, for a deuce here. But the way the rocks spun, I mean, I can't believe that. Yep. Real hard. 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 Real hard, hard guys. They've got to That's keep good. it straight, and they did. The brushing keeps it online, and Martin is able to pick up two on end number six. And we've got a one-point game here at the Keystone Center in Brandon with four ends remaining. Business in Canada can take you to the other side of town or the other side of the world. So Canadian Airlines has more flights between Canada and Asia than any other airline. And a global partnership with three of the world's leading airlines to take you to the four corners of the earth. Where you want, when you want, the way you want to fly. Canadian Airlines. Wasn't that long ago, I could have told you exactly what was coming around that corner. Good trip, Fred. Oh, not too bad. But in the last few years... Got a lot of heads turning with this boat up You know, down. this company has changed. The cars have changed. And for our part, it's obvious. You're your fresh pot. <laughs> Thanks. We gotta keep changing, too. How bad is it? We're dead. How dead? Dead, dead. Check out the flame mail. How many hits so far? Millions, billions, who knows? We should have upgraded the server. We can't. It's not scalable. What now? Lock the door. financial concerns. At Manulife Financial, we're helping millions of Canadians find real answers. Creating flexible solutions to help you face the unexpected. In fact, Manulife is probably helping someone you know right now. Manulife Financial. Helping you make better financial decisions. All this good fortune kept landing in my lap. The story of a girl who dared to dream. Her dedication took her to center stage. It's just me, little old me from Hamilton. The Life and Times of Karen Kane, Sunday night at 10. Coming up this evening on Molson Hockey Night in Canada, the Vancouver Canucks rekindled under new coach Mike Keenan. Visit the Leafs for Ontario and West, except the Ottawa Valley. You'll get... The Maritimes in Quebec and Newfoundland will see the Senators and the Chicago Blackhawks. And, of course, the second half of the doubleheader will be Anaheim and Calgary as the Mighty Ducks tangle with the Flames. It's all tonight, beginning at 6.30 Eastern. Don with a special announcement of the Canadian Olympic men's hockey team. Yes, Mark, from the Corral Center in Ottawa, an appropriate setting, the nation's capital, when the Canadian Olympic hockey team is named. And I had a lengthy discussion last week with Pierre Paget. He said the players will not know until their names are announced at the Corral Center this evening. Pierre Gauthier, uh, I should say, I spoke with, and uh, he said that they would not, uh, the players would not know until their names Hart. were announced this evening. Kevin's room. Come on, Hart. So there Hart. are a lot of hockey players in suspense because uh, this is going to be a very big moment for them, and you'll see it all beginning at 6.30 Eastern Time on CBC Television.
No, I think if you're Mike Harris, you play the end exactly the same way as Kevin good. Martin did the sixth end. You have to, you gave up two, you have to score your two points back to, to keep control of this game. And so you attack now. You go and try to be aggressive here, score two points, and keep yep. control of this game. Yep. Hard. 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 Hard just tight. Hard. Very hard. Hard, 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 hard. Okay. Fine. Sorry. I thought that was okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was good <laughs> for the other side. Or other way. Long guard. Yep. Go here. I don't know. That's good. Oh, yeah. Keep an eye on those time clocks now because they could become much more significant as this game progresses and there are more rocks in play. Well, that's right. The game slows right down, and that's why you want to maybe play Lots of a couple Lots ends of uh, up and down in the early part Mine's of the game right off. and serve your time. 73 minutes on the time clock, and each team is allowed two timeouts. They got 34 minutes left, 33 minutes, so that should be lots of time. Good spot. And now the four foot area is completely congested with three rocks played, three rocks in front. All just slightly off the center line. So tight. Weight's close. Yep. I'm gonna go for line anyway. Yep. Yeah, line hard. How's the weight? Hard line. How's the weight? Good. Yep. Lots of weight. Whoa. Clean. Yep. Clean. Whoa. Oh. Stay close. Stay close. Oh, Make sure that rock stops in Finish. the four foot in on top of the T line and it's just at the T line. Pretty good shot. Another foot shorter would have been perfect. Now for Rudy Ramcharan, big shot here. He wants to make sure he's around the guard to the face of that rock. He certainly doesn't want to touch it because if a shooter touches it, he'll roll in the open, allow Mike Harris maybe to hit it and roll behind cover again. Then they would have two in by. So big touch, good touches. It's gonna need it, I think. Necessary Wait, here close. for Rudy. The winner of this game, of course, represents Canada at the Olympics. And the first game for the Canadian men's team is against the host nation. They'll play Japan at 2 in the afternoon Japanese time on the 9th of February. Nice little touch. Now Mike having last rock. Yeah. He's decided that he's going to clear off the front. It's too congested out there. He's going to make Kevin oh, Martin come in. Board. Step, step, step. Oh, whoa, whoa, step. Stop. Right, right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Curling in, curling in. Nice whoa, shot. Nice shot. Good shot is right. See, they're thinking Here. way ahead. Now they've got two in there. Granted, it's third shot, but. Kevin Martin cannot afford to make a mistake now. He's almost saying to Mike Harris, I'm going to concede you one. Here, I'm throwing up the guard. Maybe with my last rock, I might be able to come with the outturn and get shot rock. Or maybe plays a, play a tap up. Are there times in a game uh, when maybe you do say to yourself, I'm going to concede one to the opposition? Absolutely. Absolutely. You try and protect. And that's a terrible type of game to play because if you ever make a half a shot, you could be in a lot of trouble. There might have been a point in the semifinal last night where that might have been a good decision. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yes. No, no, yep. okay. We're halfway or a little more. Would you agree, John? Yeah, we had a situation in the third end. Tight. Actually, if Eddie doesn't throw his rock, uh, Kevin can't score more than one, and, and we ended up messing up the situation and, and gave Kevin a pretty easy shot for three. Yeah, yeah. As it turns out, um, if, if, um, if we don't even touch the rock we were trying to hit, we were better off. Now here's a chance for Mike Harris. There's a, two guards out in front. And I think if Mitchell hits this one right in the center, his shooter might continue right on through. I should miss it. Okay. Still wait. Uh -huh. He's just trying to spill him off. 
Colin throws real good uh, heavyweight uh, peels. He's uh, probably oh. the most accurate oh. uh, front right end off. player as far as peels are concerned in, in our province, oh. anyways. Whoa! Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. <laughs> okay. Get over there. It's over there. He would like to hit that one a little bit thinner. You got a brewing. That's not bad. It's getting better. Did you know the bad okay. part about that? Got a call. For Mike Harris, that's a rock kind of out in the wings, and there is a chance, and Eddie Wernick made one of these shots, that uh, Kevin Martin could angle that one, the red one on the right-hand side out in front of the rings, onto that one in the button. Draw. So that may come into play. Where to? You can go in uh, now. Top eight. Throw up another guard. Well, that's getting pretty scary now, though. Yeah. Don't, don't mind over. this. Okay. Yeah. For last year, Kevin Martin led the Guarding round. Guarding pretty scary now. Yeah. And lost the semifinal game at the World Championships. Yeah. Kevin twice has been to the World Championships and uh, has not been able to win. Kind of wait. He's down normal. He said he wouldn't care at all about those world titles if he could win an Olympic gold. Yes, absolutely. Lots of weight. I agree Three. with him. Yep. Hard. Hard, 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 hard. Real hard. Okay. All right. Boy, that one moved for him oh, at the end. That almost a missed call, I think, John. Yeah, I think so. I, I thought it was a pretty defensive call anyways. But uh, you see here the rock... Uh, just catches about an inch of the guard, and um, it looked like it it moved wow. quite quickly at the end. It did. You know, we're sitting right behind the sheet, and he had the rock right on the nose all the way down, and they decided, I guess, to get the inside roll and left it too long. Yep. Oh. Yep. Hard. Tight. Yep. Hard. Great. Hard. Great. Fine shot by Richard Hart to cleanly remove the red stone and Ontario's Mike Harris lies three. Jeez. Well done, Walchuk's uh, got fine. an opportunity here to, <laughs> to get himself out of a jam. Yes. He's got a, a situation where he can throw a high hard one and, and possibly get rid of all three yellow rocks here. Still a great situation for Mike Harris though. As oh, long absolutely. As, as long as uh, uh, Kevin Martin's team is throwing big weight and trying to remove three on uh, Mike Harris stones. Uh, but they're almost gonna... they're almost directly across from each other. He'd have to get a lot of rotation on his rock. Even Donovan Bailey might have problems Hurt. keeping up with this one. Well, he's got a good shot. Look at this. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Oh. All three are gone. No, I did you believe that. Come on, Don. Come on. Oh, it's, it's, well, it's just such a treat yeah, watching it, but I mean, yeah. look at the action they get on this shooter. I mean, he a lot of spin to it. It hits the back side of it, pushes it straight across the rings. I think if we keep watching Martin and Walchuk often enough, we'll see them back up a stone. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Put a little today. siding on it. Board, just to the board. You know, I was just about to say, you know, even if he makes the double, Mike Harris is playing this whole length yep. to score too, well, but yep. he has well, to be aware yeah, of well. the uh, takeout well, ability well. of Walchuk and Martin. How's the weight? Well, it's fine. It's good. Close. Lots. No. Lots no, of No, not at all. Lots of weight. Not at all. Close. Nothing. No. Close. No. Close. No. Nothing. No, no, no. Nothing. Still an inch. Still an inch. boy. Great shot. I guess one of the key things when you're playing uh, Martin and Walchuk, who are renowned for their doubles shot, and Martin. triples, you can't become frustrated when they spoil what you think is an end being built up. <laughs> no, that's right. You got to keep doing it, keep throwing them in there, wow. and hope that uh, you know they don't make the double or triple. Yeah. They can't get discouraged. Yeah, that ain't easy. Either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what are you doing? Don, the key rock in this end is going to be that uh, top red rock, which yes. is, is going to end up forcing uh, Mike Harris to probably take a point. Yep. And that was the rock that uh, Don Walchuk actually oh, whipped oh, into oh. the rings. Clean. Off. Stay close, though. Yep. Clean. Whoa, clean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kevin Martin now lies, too. Now, this is a very aggressive move. 
by Mike Harris. You know, he could freeze to that one in the back of the 12 foot there. Might be, but with the outturn. Remember how John, far if you're throwing this rock, do you go where he's button. going or do you freeze yeah, to the back just, one? I think that's close. Okay. Well, I like this call for Mike. Uh, he has a chance. Uh, if, if he plays the offensive shot, he has a chance to score two. Remember and and if he hits it's the back one, he's, he's uh, pretty yeah, much that saying that he's going to take his one and, and take his yeah, chances. Okay. And with this four rock rule, a two point lead uh, play with three ends to play is not safe by any means. Yeah. Uh, I also think that if he plays the freeze to it, Kevin Martin throws such BBs, you know, that he could run them both out, then he would still be forced to take one. And that's why he's making this aggressive move. I need a little at the end. Not bad. Wait, wait on room. Line only. Wait, well, ton of room. Wow. Ton Getting of better. Room right. wow. Stop eight. Four room still. Nice. Stop eight, guys. No line at all. Jeez, Stop eight. Close. Yeah, he's not Stop getting eight. in behind the guards. Stop eight. You're hanging a long oh. way yeah. out there. Yeah. This way, guys. Sweepers there might have wanted to take that rock just a little bit further. I think it's in a spot right now if Kevin Martin gets near the nose of this rock. Uh, I don't think Mike Harris is going to be able to nose him back. He might have to throw the draw yeah, against three. Close to the line. It's well, to that's that's right. If he hits it right there and stays there, then he's cut off all the forefoot uh, for close Harris to draw. Harris. So that's why uh, if he had taken it deeper, even behind the tee line. We've got a biter in the front there. Yeah. So the pressure continues for Mike Harris. The fifth end, he was face line three. Now could be three again. Well, I think both ah. skips fully anticipated ah. that they'd be under ah. pressure oh, every sure. time they went to throw their final stone oh. throughout this entire match. Oh, Ooh, that's a surprise. I'm reasonably happy with that. Well, that's a big surprise, Doogie. Yeah. Uh, that's I've an awful lot of weight for right uh, Kevin to throw on that shot. Right it was a that's a pretty critical spot right there. If he had, if he'd made the nose, I, you yeah. know, with, he forces one. Mike Harris to throw an awfully good draw against three. Yep. And Mike and Kevin Martin said, "I'm reasonably happy with that run one." I, I don't think that's the well, case. I would have been like, like to even hit and rolled maybe a little bit to the left hand side, but not all the way out. Absolutely. Yeah. He's opened up the whole house to him. I think he was a little concerned though when he said he was reasonably happy that that stone might have floated on yeah, him and he might not have got anything. Yep. Yeah. Hard. Hard. Take a look. That's fine. Take a look. You hear him say good. under the breath when they're brushing. That's fine. Real nice. Easy. Oh. Oh. I like brushing them just in case there's something on the ice like a, a hair or a straw or a piece of dirt. And that's a nice sign, you know, when a guy throws it right to the forefoot like that. So Mike Harris, once again, has a two-point lead. Every day, the Canadian national rowing team strives for performance excellence. At Dynamic Mutual Funds, our team of dedicated money managers share information about the best value investment opportunities at home and around the world. For over 40 years, powered by partnership, driven by performance. Dynamic Mutual Funds, your partner for dynamic performance. I had no idea of playing baseball for a living because all the people I saw playing was white. That's Oscar Charleston. Okay, put Oscar in his column. All right. Now you have a baseball card. People want to know the history of Negro League Baseball. They should be passed on. I would sell baseball cards over the internet. Mm, huh? You could. Who would have heard of the internet? The whole world would be able to see and hear what I'm saying. That's progress. In a city, this has become way deeper than it was supposed to. A neighborhood. You think I'm trying to seduce you? Tangled lives. We have a problem. A shark, a kid. Family. I think I'm losing this baby. Friends. I wish it was me that got shot, right? Lovers. God, I wish I could see you. I love you, you know. A dramatic soap opera that will take you into the very heart of a city. Riverdale. Mondays and Tuesdays at 7 on CBC. On the road with Jimmy Patterson. At 68, he's still building his private empire, and he's very much the man in charge. We help him make up their mind. The Gospel According to Jimmy Patterson, Tuesday night on Venture. Thursday, 
Your daughter had a stroke. A tragedy brings the family to despair. She doesn't know me. She has a home. We have a little baby. What's happened? I need some help here. North of 60, Thursday. Now at a desktop near you, CBC's new internet homepage. Interactive, up-to-date, and personal. You can even customize a schedule of your favorite CBC shows. We're just a click away, cbc.ca. You're not the only boat builder on the East Coast. I got a call from my lawyer. He's wondering about the divorce papers. You always get what you want, don't you? Your brother is out of control, and you've got to do something. Black Harbor, Wednesday. The class of 98, as we welcome another member of the Olympic curling family en route to Nagano in February, Peter Lindholm of Sweden, who beat Kevin Martin en route to winning the world championship in Bern this spring. And as he psyched, he's got his maple leaf trinket ready to go. And he'll represent Sweden in a couple of months' time. And the story here still yet to be written. Is it Mike Harris or Kevin Martin representing Canada as curling makes its debut as a full medal sport in Nagano? Don? Yes, Mark, and either will be worthy representatives and I think will be favored to win the gold medal in Nagano. Well, I'd really be comfortable with any of the uh, teams that showed up here. They're very strong. These two hurry proved hurry all week that the the, they belong. Three. They deserve to be That's in the final. Pick, Mike. <laughs> Mike Harris <laughs> seven and two. Kevin Martin six and three in the round robin. Played a strong game in the semifinals last night. Now that's two ends in a row. The, not two ends in a row. The fifth and the seventh end that uh, Mike Harris has been forced to make some cold draws. The nice thing about it for Mike Harris is that he put it on the edge of the forefoot, so he's definitely got his draw weight, which means. That if he gets in a little bit of trouble, he can bail his set himself out. Just clean. We're halfway already. Well, during right. the course Good of a curling on. season, Go these teams rely on sponsors yeah, for spot help, for and uh, the Kevin Martin team <laughs> has Sterling Crane giving them a lot of help during the course of the year. <laughs> Top eight, same thing. And for the winner. There will not be an opportunity to compete in the Briar this year because tight, tight, tight. in their respective provinces, the playdowns conflict yes. with the Olympic Games. Well, and I think that's why you heard Kevin Martin say, you know, for Olympic gold, uh, I'd give up a world championship, and he's right. Oh, heavy, not heavy. And you heard Mike Harris say, not heavy. That's right. Hey, George. Okay. Sorry, guys. And he, Mike Harris is not happy with that one because once again it's behind the tee line. He wants his rocks up in front. And now Kevin Martin will just pump him back. We talked earlier about the Briar this year taking place in Winnipeg. It will be held at the Winnipeg Arena with Don Dugat as the honorary chairman from March 7th to 15th. Oh, oh, that's going to be bad. a big week in Winnipeg. Make sure we bump it. A couple of hundred Hurry, thousand oh, fans come on, going come through on, the turnstiles. Hurry, we can't bump it short. Hard. You heard Kevin say we can't bump it short, Hurry. meaning he I doesn't want to bump it onto the button. He wants to bump it behind, and that's why they brushed him. Oh, boy. Perfect area. Two rocks together. That'll be utilized by Kevin Martin later on the end. He's got the guard up. He's got two behind the tee line. Although... Mike Harris is lying to this end is set up for Kevin Martin to score two. Both these teams have played about 40 games this year to get to this position where they're competing for the Olympic berth. Financially it's been a more successful year for Kevin Martin's team. He has won about seventy five thousand dollars in the 40 games they played. The Harris force has won about thirty four thousand. Three yellow stones in the rings belonging to Mike Harris, but last rock belongs to Kevin Martin. Have you noticed every end that Kevin wants to score at multiple points? Little, it's always set up by Rudy Ramsey. Hey, line's good. Shots. Hurry, hard for line. 
Well, that's what uh, Don Walchuk said guys. earlier. Yep. Oh, Rudy will bail us out. Yep. Come on, guys. Hard! Hard! No, oh, not this time, though. All right. You notice, Don, that Rudy throws a really soft handle, and yes. uh, his rocks are curling a lot late, late in the uh, as the rock is approaching the rings, and it, it'll curl at that point in time a lot more than anyone else's will because he has the very soft handle. It's taking the natural contour of the ice. If you throw a little bit more spin on your handle, it'll run a little bit straighter. And you're right; he has what we call a lazy release. The rock doesn't rotate much coming down the ice; just comes off and takes the natural contour of the ice, and that's why it curls more. Well, Mike, has got a chance to get out of the sand if he has to put this rock on top of the forefoot behind the guard. Needs it! Hard! Hooray! Hard for line! Goodbye! Hard for weight! Fully! Hard for weight! Hurry hard! Hard! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Whoa. That's pretty good position. That's it. They would have liked it a little bit tighter behind that guard. It's half open. It's this kind of stuff. Rudy Ramjuran, an opportunity for redemption here. He uh, missed with his first shot good. on this eighth okay. end. Stay close. Hurry. Hurt. Lots of weight. Okay, well then. Oh, stay close. Yep. Hack weight, Kevin. Hacks. Hurt. Hurt. You hear Bartley yelling, hack weight, Kevin, Hurt. hack weight. He wants to get a little bit of movement on this one. On, Over to the right-hand side. Come on. Good shot. Well, that shot accomplishes a couple of different things. Uh, he obviously had to move it because uh, that yellow rock was blocking the path to the to the button. But uh, by making the roll behind the corner guard, he's actually turned it into an offensive situation all, all of a sudden. Absolutely, because the two rocks at the back are both together. He can make a double, and that rock will come into play. Mike Harris is going to try and take away that opportunity, but he, need, he needs this rock in deeper than the last one. better. You heard him say the weight's better. Weight only. Weight only. Well, if you can. Now they should go hard yeah, with it. Hard now, hard! Hard! Whoa, whoa. Well, every good skip needs a good third, and uh, these two gentlemen are blessed in that department. Richard Hart and Don Walchuk have really been playing well. Well, that rock is in a good position for Mike Harris because now if Don Walchuk hits what he can see, he, see, he'll roll over yeah. and maybe set up a double for uh, Mike Harris with the one behind the corner guard. This is the men's Olympic championship game. The winner to represent this country. The women's final tomorrow. Okay. Room. And we'll have it for you beginning Don't have very good line here. at 1.30 Eastern time. Hurry. Might as well try. They're trying, to, they're trying to get it by the front one now and hit the back one. Come on! Well, that's a little bit of a bonus. Okay. Actually, All right. didn't work out too good because he's touched uh -oh. that rock right in behind the guard now. He's jabbed it a bit. You see the red right. stone up at the top of your screen on the center line the protecting the rock, the yellow handled stone, and the eight foot that was just nudged by Don Walcha. Ah! Yeah, I just pitched that one on us, eh? Huh? Pitched that one a little bit. Yeah. A little heavy, too. It doesn't want to finish there, Mike. Real good chance of just corner freezing it. That would be bad. I don't know. I don't like What do you got? You want to run this? This will curl. Here. You want to play a little hack waiter at the red? How much can you see? I can see just less than half. Oh, yeah? Well, I think that's about right. Yeah. Yeah, where do you roll to? Do you like to? that? Where do you roll? <laughs> I can't hear you. Do you roll under a yellow? No, it'll roll right beside it. Well, that's no good. We don't want that either. Although, I mean, are we, is this buried here with my broom? No, it's, that's open. Time out. We do it again. Nah, we have time. Don't do a timeout.
You like that or not? Well, I just, well, I thought I threw the last one pretty good and it didn't finish. Are we fourth? Yeah. Yeah. Try the hit? Yeah, let's give it a go. Okay. What do you want to throw? I can't see a lot of it. I can only see just a third, maybe. How, how much? A third. I'll play the draw then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I think they've got it right now. <laughs> I, I, but personally, I don't like the shot because I'll tell you, if he, if he hangs it out there and sets up the maybe double, way, you know Walchuk's going to make a run. double, whoa, and then you whoa, got whoa, second and third shot. Whoa! Okay. Ah. Where is it? Whoa! Just tight. Getting better. Whoa! Yes! 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 yes. 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 Hard. Whoa! Whoa! Still Three. Whoa! Close. Just weld it. Yeah! Whoa, 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 Mm. I think you think it's blast time here. <laughs> I well, think he's looking at the. Uh, you want to run that three onto the onto the five? Yeah. Well, this time, Don, there's no good angles on huh? those yellow rocks. He put that in a, an awfully good spot. What else? Things are looking rosy. You hear Mike think Harris, of? Mike Harris, the back ground saying things well, are looking rosy. <laughs> yeah. This is a big shot. Yeah, this shot. is no good because he just runs that and we're dead. But when Walchuk and Martin are shooting, regardless hey, of how oh, rosy it may look, it can change quite quickly and become very gloomy. <clears throat> they decided to run the front one. You know, I might even try to pick that uh, yellow one on the left hand side that's in the open and at least maybe make contact with those two on top of the eight foot. Hard, hard already. Come on, come on. So Walchuk do some damage. Look at this. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, the nice thing about it for Mike Harris, that's a great shot by Walchuk. He's opened up the right-hand side now, and now Mike Harris can make a double. Well, I don't know if he can take that double. I think the red comes back onto his own. Yeah. No, it's a little better. Isn't it? <laughs> Good shot. Yeah. You know, you make a shot like that, we're still in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a great shot by Walchuk. I mean, the big thing is he moved okay. the rock we gotta off get the it center to the line. line. Eh? Yeah. He made a double kill. Now it's a big shot for Mike Harris because he's playing the draw, Don. If he doesn't get the draw around the corner guard, there's a chance. That oh, he may leave it open and line. give uh, Martin a chance for a double, then to be lying three. Even that. But the comment by Martin yeah. a few rocks back, it's really important that we get one on this end. We'll try the double, just try to just touch it. And now I'll things have opened up a little this. at least. Time out. Two timeouts per you game. Just right, you can make it without jamming. About each team. I can see all of it. Even if it over, even if it doesn't, you know, if it misses the double. You hit it just right. You can, you can just slip it through here, and Mike. And roll to there too, eh? Yeah. You can even if you one. do clip it, we'll still roll in and lie too, so long as it doesn't dead jam. Yeah. Okay. Even if it I does don't know dead if you jam. Roll in. You gotta hit half well, a rock to hit that. Well, even if it doesn't, we'll still lie too. Yeah. Even if it doesn't roll buried. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just so long as we make the double. Regular. Yeah, regular plot, hey? Yeah, it should throw pretty good. Yeah. That looks good. I mean, it's more. <clears throat> he's what, what he's trying to do is hit the rock on the high side and maybe get a little movement with his yeah, shooter about, uh, over to the half, I guess. center Eight, area. Thirds. What he does want to do is hit it too thick and then it may spin onto quarters, his own in the back go. of the forefoot. Three quarters. All right, you call it. <laughs> firm? Just normal. Normal? I'll be firm, eh? Okay. okay. Last 
No. I don't. I don't like the ice that he took. Give him here. Like he's throwing big no, heat never. here. Never. No. 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 Boy, I didn't like this. This throw at all. That was the danger. The rocky contacted going back onto the stone in the forefoot, and now Martin lies one. Yeah, I knew it did that all day. Sorry, should have thrown it. Well, you know, you should never have two shots in your mind when you're going down to throw, and I think that's what happened to Mike Harris. He was comfortable with the draw. He just overthrew this one. Like, he threw big weight on this one. And a, another break for uh, Kevin Martin. Well, you pointed out the danger of contacting the stone up top and getting too much of it. Yes. We're going the right way here. Yeah, yeah we're it was coming. If around, you went yeah, that way, we could have. didn't do it. Right. Didn't really throw it all, actually. Yeah. Really right. Kevin Martin deciding whether yeah, he's yeah. playing the he's right draw here. He's not going to miss a half of shot. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that out turn wide. It's so easy to bury over there. Yeah. He decided to go on the out turn side and come around. You bet. I'm. Last night, Kevin Martin in disposing like of Ed Wernick in the semifinal curled 96 percent. He's 89 yeah. percent so, so far this afternoon. So okay. It's gonna be like middle 12 somewhere, and even if we stick out here, that's good. That's no problem. No, he might run it that way then. But... Huh? Try to get near T line. Yeah. Good enough. What would his thinking be in going to this turn? Well, he's like he said, he can bury it here. Uh, the danger of going the way he was going that he may set right up a double, but if he can bury around uh, that yellow one, right the top on the 12, but he's got right. a great shot. He's going to be assured of two. If you leave it too short, he can right. blast it. <clears throat> he's got a lot of ice. That's uh, center of the 12, but it will move late for him. A lot of room. Line's good. Hurt. Oh, lot of okay. room. Oh, not deep, not deep, not deep. Wait's there. Wait's there. Oh, oh, right off. Stay off. close. Lots of yep. weight. Hurt. Hurt. Lots of weight. Whoa. Hurt. Whoa. 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 Lots of weight, Don. Lots of weight. Whoa. 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 Stop. Hurry, hurry. Stop. Hurry. Pretty good shot. But he wanted to be on top of the uh, absolutely. He wanted to be that much in front of the T line as opposed to the back. I don't think there's a double there. But Mike Harris can maybe hit half a rock and get over Damn there, it. over to that side. Well, vocally oh. and with body English. Not an easy double, this Kevin is. Kevin Martin pleading for that rock to stop above the tee line. He feels he's left Mike Harris a pretty easy double. Oh, that's pretty. I think Mike uh, is going to have to hit three quarters of the rock and get a lot of action on his shooter to get over there and push that red one right across the rings. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Whoa, whoa! Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, he's throwing oh. big heat. Oh. He's going to get any of it. Well, Kevin Martin has an opportunity to get back on even terms. Oh, Too bad. Shut the rain out of it, I guess, eh? Boy, that's a lot of weight. I mean, I know you have to get across, but that's, uh, he threw a lot of heat on both his rocks. I don't think it was necessary. Same thing. Top four, top eight. This rule's easy, buddy. I never yep. changed my shot. <laughs> it's not stickier, right? Eh? It's not right. stickier. <laughs> Same weight. Same weight for Kevin Martin, this time with the intern to try and tie this game at five with two line ends to play. Line only. Oh, the line's perfect. Whoa. Line's good. Line's good. Whoa, guys. Whoa, we're there for it. It'll die coming in. Hard. Come oh, on. We're good. We're good. All right. Lots of weight. Hard. Lots Heart. of weight. Line Can't only. Lane. Oh, boy. And Kevin Martin comes through on and eight. And this championship game for the right to represent Canada at the Olympics is tied at five. Yes, it's boredom twitch syndrome. You're lucky, there's a new treatment. Got boredom twitch syndrome? Get relief with Star Choice Digital Satellite Television. 
Over 90 channels of sports, movies, and entertainment. All with cinema quality picture and CD quality sound. Hey! It's the Ottawa game! Thank you. For a retailer in your community, call now. Finally, the choice is yours. Star Choice. Chrysler minivan with all-wheel drive. Another first. Oh, I always have to push my own button on the elevator. I won't let my passengers have the map. I hate being upstaged by my kids. I am the king of my castle. I put everyone on hold. Just a second. Click. I'll be right back. I have to have the remote control. Everyone has a need to be in control. I carve the turkey. At Canada Trust, how you control your money is entirely up to you. How you do it, when you do it, even where you do it. I love to call out the numbers in bingo. I just like to be in control. That kind of guy. Wednesday on CBC. This is the place, huh? Yeah, this is it. Nice boots. You could do whatever you want. You believe that? Do you think I should start sleeping with Frank again? Friends are great and everything, but sometimes they can hold you back. I don't want to end up another loser on the Reds. What, like me? You work for me, not the other way around. We can't just turn our backs on one of our people. What's the point? The Reds on CBC. Sunday. We're going to rebuild it. Herbie's back. <laughs> on the wonderful world of Disney, it's an all-new The Love Bug. I hate that car. He's trying to kill us. Then... I believe that I could do the job, Mrs. Cramp. On Wind at My Back, Grace's promotion to station manager is a mixed blessing. Why did you cancel Bible Hour? The final decision was always yours. Three hours of great family entertainment, Sunday on CBC. Coming right up after the men's final destination, Nagano continues with World Cup skiing. It's the women's Super G from Mammoth Mountain in the United States. That's right after the men's final, of course, tomorrow, right here at the Keystone Center in Brandon. It's the women's final of the Canadian Olympic curling trials. Three-time world champion Sandra Schmerler of Saskatchewan versus Shannon Kleibrink of Alberta. That comes your way live at 1.30 Eastern. All tied at five here. After eight, done. Yes, Mark, and I don't think it's really any surprise that uh, this one is going right down to the tenth, and maybe even an extra end because these two rinks uh, have been very close all week. Both have curled well. Uh, both have had some really sensational shots, and there have been times when they've fallen behind and haven't been able to fight back. But uh, in this one, they've been close all the way, and. Right <laughs> it is going to come down come on, to perhaps hard. the final up, stone of the tenth. Come on. Okay, that's good. He's at the long one. Sweep it, guys. Well, uh, just a couple of things about uh, Harris. In the seventh inning, he had things going, and then Walchuk comes up with that big triple. Uh, they had things going down here, and Walchuk makes a raise double takeout. Um, you kind of got to grope with those and say, well, look, don't, don't worry don't about it. Let's get, keep back in the game. Better. Off. I thought Mike Harris maybe played too much takeout weight on two of his takeouts, but be off you know you're playing Kevin Martin. You got to be so precise. You got to put the rocks in the oh. right position and take away those doubles, those yeah. angle races if you can. You know, and you got to be in front Good of the T line. You can't Good be wait. behind the T line. Good, George. Well, Martin was really upset in the last end because he felt he had left Harris a fairly easy double. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, they were pretty. They were directly across from each other, so. Uh, uh, Mike would have to get a lot of spin on his rock to push uh, the Martin rock out the side door there. Oh, that low. That's good. Low. Kind of room. <clears throat> right off. No line. Oh, baby. Grind. See that rock is hanging oh, out baby, there. Grind. Should make oh, a little baby, bit grind. of a. A move now, but they haven't laid a brush oh, to this. Let her die. Good 
Now this particular shot here can set up the hole in for Mike Harris. If hey, George air. carries. <laughs> Uh, barely a fraction, not really. Just a little. Okay, just just out, George. Just out. If he can hit this rock on the inside, it drive it past his own no, without no, touching no. it, That's and move behind the center guard, they're in good shape. Early in this end. Wait only. Oh, good. Yep. Clean, clean. Yep. Hard. hard. Fuck. Real hard. Ray. What the hell? Oh. Whoa, whoa, let it go. Get over there. Yeah, so okay, tight. that's fine. Wow. Hey, Georgie. There's a point in this ice that if now. you throw it, and all yeah. depends on oh, your release, really if you that's kind fine. of make an outward motion with it, it'll run down that line and run very, very straight. Top 12. If you hit the broom and maybe just turn it slightly, it'll curl big time. And that's exactly what happened to George Carey's art, as opposed to Don Bartlett's rock. It's re what we call release sensitive ice. Just top here. 12. Here. Hurry. Lots of weight. A lot of weight. Okay. Mine's good. Mine's Lots of good. weight. A lot of weight. Well, stay close. Hurry. Oh. Lots of weight. Oh, off. <laughs> Boy, oh, he, right he just, just got That's past right. that stone and almost came out the other side. Well, it is. It's three quarters open on the outturn side. You talked earlier about the okay, way uh, Ramcharan Stones at the end finished because of the way I'll his, I think it was here. John yes, brought Seth. up the point about the soft release. It moves a little bit more than any other um, curler's rocks on this ice because he's got such a, what you call a rotation, not much way. rotation Here's on it. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, yep. Yep. Hard. Whoa. Hooray. Hooray. Shot call. I don't think Colin Mitchell has been happy on many of the shots no. he's played today. His expression certainly would not indicate that. Well, where that rock ended up, uh, I don't know whether Kevin can make the double on this, or uh, Rudy Ramchar, rather. Because I think they're side by side. Freeze or tab Well, Don, I think in well, a normal situation, uh, they might try and ra play the uh, raise double, but uh, the danger of that, if it rolls out, uh, he gives, he opens up the opportunity for Mike Harris to blank this in. I don't mind that. Hey. I like keeping the hammer down. We can't, we can't roll off this one or we give him a double. Can't really hit ours. This one won't go. Got a little worry about. We almost got to bump it a little rude. Kevin's definitely going to call Pump this right in on the to nose make sure off. that Mike Harris scores. Okay. He doesn't want him blank in the end. Yes. Back eight. And that's why he's playing this shot. Like he this. just yeah, sure, back eight, on. back four. He's just giving up a uh, back four foot weight. I don't like it at all. We roll in front of the other ones. It's good. Okay. Well, Kevin gave them the opportunity to voice an opinion. He said, "How do you want to play this end, guys?" Yep. That's exactly right. They've decided. They're going to wait try and force Mike Harris to take one. Stay close. Plenty weight. Wow. Oh, it looks like a lot of weight. Yeah, back 12 at least. No. Stay close. Wow. Wow. Go back 12. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice shot, Rudy. Great shot. I'm right. always amazed, Don, at how the <laughs> brushers can judge almost as soon as the rock is released, how far it's going to go. Yelling, sure? yeah, back 12, yeah, back 12. Back line, well, they know by the release, they played yeah. each other, uh, they played so Leave much there, together good. that they know exactly how Rudy releases that? the rock, how Walchuk releases on a draw, and now Bartlett and Kevin Martin yeah, release. So as soon as they let it go, Roll they'll brush it a bit, and then they know how fast it's going. Yeah, just out. Just out? Hack, yeah. Hack's good. Yeah. Now hack's too much, just out. Yeah. Right. Better hit enough with just out and roll behind the corner. Like Whatever you like. Just gotta have good. Actually, you can throw more weight with this turn if you want. Hack's fine. Throw hack. Good. Hack. 
hooked it. Yep. Hard. Hard. You heard him yep. say he hooked it. Hurry! Hard! Hurry hard! Hard, 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 hard! Take the roll. Hurry! Right over. Hard. Hurry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, beauty. Great shot, Cole. Well, that's a good shot. Uh, that's nice a good shot. Good shot because he got one in behind the corner guard now, so that's an excellent shot. So they've got, by that rock being even fourth shot or third shot, he set up a deuce here. But even with the accolades from his teammates, Colin isn't going to smile. If he gets by, you make this. <laughs> no, he's got the easy double. That doesn't work. Run that back into that. Oh, boy. How about freezing to the yellow one? Well, geez, we can get ourselves in all kinds of trouble here. Freeze to which yellow one? This one? That one on an angle. Yeah. It's gone okay. right through the hole. Make a double. I think Kevin's only choice here well, is yeah, to freeze to that middle yellow rock. I think he's, he's going to leave do? a double on, on the uh, two reds if he range? happens to throw his own double. Like this is the problem oh, and, uh, right now. And Mike will yeah. have a chance Not to uh, spread yeah. the yellow rocks out a little bit. I think if he wants to force Mike to score well, here, he's got to play the draw. Back. I think this is. I think you're right. I think you got to go in here in this area a little on the outside and force wow. Mike Harris to try and drive it by his own, which is a very difficult nose. shot. Even if he ignores it and stops short of of, of the sh two shot right rocks, right he can always promote it later on. This is a big. This is a big gamble. Let me tell you, because if he doesn't hit this one right, Harris may ha have a wide open hit for four. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen because Welchuk's pretty accurate at these, but. Yeah, if you wanted anybody to throw this type of shot, it's the guy that just released the stone. Hip hard! Real hard! Hard! hard. Oh boy. <laughs> That's mind-boggling, you know. <laughs> I mean, how many rocks can you take out with one in one game? But it set up the deuce now for... Um, but Don Walter made that as absolutely as good as he's going to make it, and, yes. and uh, they're still not in all that great a shape. I'm not so sure about the call, but uh, boy, uh, if, if he happened to uh, roll his guard out, um, he probably loses the game. Yeah. Well, uh, if it just curls a fraction more, John, I'm, he misses it all. Yeah. I mean, they were pretty fortunate. That a couple they've been very fortunate on. Nice way. Yep. Light. Hey. Now here's a big hey. shot. They have to stagger freeze this one. They can't freeze it dead on. Or it'll just be a blast shot. Hey! Hey! Whoa, 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 leave it there. Fight. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. It's not bad either. I don't know about that shot. I might have uh, just drawn to the other side, John. What do you think? That's fine. Well, I think uh, they had enough room there to squeeze that red one past yeah. the yellow. Uh, the, the danger is. Uh, where you're going to roll that rock, and yeah. I'm not sure he could uh, roll it far enough to prevent uh, Kevin from sure. playing a double. Yeah. But I mean, if you go yeah. to the other side and they come Turn down the and raise theirs onto yours, at least you got a shot at a there. double delay too. What? Yeah, that's that's. Uh, I'll be a little up from the down other possibility normal. for sure. Fine, you bet. No problem. Oh, guys, oh. right off, right off. No, no, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. When he doesn't right. make the doubles, he rolls to the right spot. Now for Mike Here Harris. There, Mike. He's got to gamble and make the double. And try the double? It's pretty thin. Yeah. You can throw a board weight at it, try to make it. We had a little too thick, you just roll into here. Whatever you like. I don't know, I like it. Okay. Board, board plus. Need to hit about uh, an eight. I think we need more ice. I think it's gonna curl a bit with board weight. Okay. Don't, well, just don't be light, eh? Board, board plus is yeah, good. Yeah, all right, okay. Board plus is good. Well, just board plus. Yep, yep. Yes! Hooray! 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 Whoa, Whoa! Yes! Whoa! Hard! Whoa. Hard! 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 Oh boy, he just got it thin enough. What a great shot. That oh, I thought it was through the hole. Very close to <laughs> slipping between the two stones. Well, that's the, that's the shot that Richard Hart's been making all week. He's been throwing uh, 
everything down just a little bit. Uh, Board, Hackweight, he's, he's made uh, most of his hits when they've been down weight a little bit. He's been absolutely deadly accurate this week. This is enough, like threes. You can protect against three, you can put, you know, two yeah, right. top yeah. <clears throat> Pistol. Pistol is right. <laughs> Whoa! Stay close. Right. A rather <coughs> innocuous looking stone at the back of the 12 foot. Oh, Could boy. be a big rock in this no kidding. game. Well, you just want to calm yourself, and they've thrown lots of rocks this winter. And hey, no way to get enough deuce here. Three quarters of a rock would be fine. Make a little bit outward motion to the right-hand side, maybe tucking in behind that corner guard. But right now, he just wants to hit and stay there. He gets a roll. It's a bonus. He certainly doesn't want to roll out. Almost regular. Oh, oh. close. No. Clean. Can I clean? Yep. 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 Hey. Hard. Oh. Hey. All the way in. Hey! Very hard! Just to keep it online, and they do. Boy, that, that's running straight down there. It's unbelievable how straight it is. It is not moving at all. Mike Harris's father, Bob, back in his seat in the Keystone Center. Maybe feeling a little more comfortable at this stage of the match. Well, Kevin's looking for the double. Half a rock will get it for him. He may lose his shooter. Kevin's wife, Shauna, has seen him make shots like this before on many occasions. Oh, yes. Half stone, eh? Half stone, you would say. Has he got the ball? Hard! Yes! <laughs> ah, no kidding. Well, it's not bad for Mike because now he can blank and still maintain the advantage of Last Rock, but I mean, that's an outstanding shot. Half a rock, he gets half a rock. <laughs> And that's a gentleman's blank. <laughs> Mike Harris just uh, pushed it about three feet up in front of the rings and isn't even going to fire it down the ice. So Mike Harris uh, will retain last rather, rock rather advantage as we go to the deciding end. Too easy to tap me. The class of 98 on the road to Nagano, Japan. And we welcome another familiar face. Another man going to Nagano already decided for Germany. It's Andy Kapp, the runner up at the 97 World Championships to Sweden's Peter Lindholm. That played in Bern, and now Andy knows he's got the ticket for Germany to represent that country in men's competition. And here in Canada, who will represent this country in Nagano will be decided. It's going right down to the 10th and final end. And what more could you ask for I'd after a week of tremendously exciting there curling here in Brandon at the Keystone Center as 10 of right the top men's ranks from across the country vied for the opportunity to represent Hurt. Canada Hurt. at the Olympic Games. Right up, guys. Hard. Right down Hurt. to the 10th end. Hey, well, for Mike Harris and his team, they want to make sure that they try and keep the forefoot open as best they can under the four rod rule. It's very difficult because Mike Harris has his draw weight. He's also got to be concerned about Kevin Martin putting rocks out in areas where he can tap them up because not only being a good takeout man, he also has great finesse skills. What do you think the heart rate is? Good right weight, right only. Good. I mean, to try not to think of it, really, you don't. No, 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 no. I mean, it's huge. Getting better. Well, Oh. oh, oh, never. It's real wide. Oh, oh. Good try. Good wait. That's fine. 
Too much weight. Too Good much try, George. And they were just trying to tick that <clears> rock boys, over. And they can do that. If they move that rock, as long as they don't move it out of the free guard zone, they're fine. I think fine. it was a ton of ice. Yeah, and the area that shows up as a gray color on your television screens between the hog line and the rings, you can move the rocks That's right. in that area, but you can't take them out of play. Now, Kevin Martin is going to ask Don Bartlett. Okay, wait for easy. it. Easy, Don. Off. Easy, Don. Same type of shot, a little deeper. Very close. Line's good. Sweepers Ball have dropped off, but they haven't just made a rush to it yet. Just yep. short. Just short. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Just short. Oh, Kevin. Pretty good placement. Pretty good placement. Both sides had the same comment when we talked to them yesterday about this championship game. They said they would Friday be turn, terribly disappointed over. at losing, but they wanted Whatever to curl like, well. Like yes. And that, both teams have curled like, very like well it. today. I like trying it again. This is kind of a corner guard. That doesn't hurt us too much. I'll make the oh, comment. Yeah. Try it again. You want to talk to him, Richard? All right. Okay. Same weight. George, that was good weight. Yeah, no more. The weight was good. Again, trying for that little tech, a bit of movement on good. the center. Good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. This whoa, 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 Hard, on, shot. The Hard on the yellow. Hard. Hard. Good job, George. Beauty. And the key is to move it off that center line and to keep the forefoot open. What you don't want to happen when you have last walk is that you cover off the forefoot both from the intern side and the outer side. You have to keep one side of the sheet open. At least give your skipper a chance at it. And that's the big difference between the, the three rock rule and the yeah. four rock rule. Uh, in the, four you know, in the three rock rule, the, the lead has to make that tick once, but in the four rock rule, he has to do it uh, with both of his shots. Now you wait. A lot of room. Oh, wait's good. Wait's good. Okay, well, got a lot of room. Gonna have to go Hurry then, Jeff, come on, come on. It's gotta be in the forefoot. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's buried. Yeah. Come on, Don, come on. Right up, right up. Got right. Good one. Rudy Ramjuran has made some crucial shots for this Martin team this afternoon. You wanna stay he over here? With another big I wanna shot. stay over there, okay. Pretty well wide open, though. You can see uh, you got all, nine eh? tenths of the rock. Yeah, just, just, just regular. Just regular. Just all. Yeah, that's fine. But since it, it's in front of the T line and on the forefoot, you might say, well, even if he's inside, takes off the yep. guard. Yeah, it's not bad. But it is bad if yes. he takes the guard. Whoa. You want to make sure you get a piece yes. of this rock in the forefoot because it's in such a good yes. spot. Yes! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Yes, he's going lots of way, big way. That's good. Big weight. I mean, they could have left that all day. Good shot. Right. That's just fine. being a little bit safe, making sure. No faith. <laughs> no faith. <laughs> uh, I think no we're faith. almost going to have to throw a long guard, guys. I think Somewhere you're like right, this. Kevin. Okay. See, the reason he's putting it out there, he wants to throw a long guard out there, hoping that they hit it and okay. maybe roll to the right-hand side. And we almost have to. Okay. to cover off both sides of the forefoot. And then Kevin will come along and pop that one that's just a foot in front of the rings. Sometimes these long guards can be a go difficult shot to make, too. Oh, that's a long guard, right? Still. Long guard. I know that Mike Harris in the back of his mind is thinking, uh, as a team up at all, how many other guys can play down there? Right on top of my room. Hurt. Right there. now, the way the end is shaping up, he's going to play out. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, shot rate. Very nice. Good spot. I don't know. What do you like? Double the two high ones. You got to hit about uh, two thirds. Okay. That's not too cool, eh? Yeah. That's not too cool. Do you want me to throw this turn? Feel yeah. weight? Yeah, less. 
Yeah, well, it's not curling. Roll. Right? No, you throw wherever you want. Just make it. <laughs> <laughs> just do the job. Just do anything you want. Okay. But then you bounce you it down. Just make these shots. <laughs> well, the it's spectators here at the Keystone Center enjoyed that one because it's very it's quiet in the stands, and they can that hear that everything that's being said <laughs> in the ice. <laughs> and when Harris said, just make it, they reacted. <laughs> Yes! Hard! Whoa! Oh! 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 You're right, you're right. Hard! 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 Just make it, and he did. Good job, buddy. Here we go. <laughs> Now, Kevin, of course, will continue this. He needs a nose hit so that he can bury in the four-foot area. Right in front of the other one. That one's the, the one that Red Rock is just short of the range. He can bury, but he still leaves the wide out turn for him, so. Lots of weight. weight. He needs some kind of nose hit here. Well, just let it, let it die whenever it will. It can't be tight. Don, I think that front red guard is probably too tight to go Better around die. and bury it. Yeah, at least to, to stay in the forefoot. Yeah. I think well, he's probably going to have to tap it. Better die. Well. Hey, You're in. Sorry, guys. Same one you threw right. a couple ends ago? Yeah, just, just get rid of this one. That's okay. Can you make them both? Only by mistake. I don't want to be that close. <laughs> Just peel it off, it's okay. I think you can make, well, you gotta hit like seven eights, and if you don't make it, you just roll to there. Well, although that's okay. not the end of the world, eh? Okay. <laughs> I think you gotta throw the other turn if you wanna play the double. It doesn't look like it from here. I can see a piece of the, the back one. On this side? No, this side. I think I can hit two thirds and make it. No, you just don't wanna tick it to here. Oh, okay. Well, just try you, you wanna try it? Yeah, in okay. turn. I don't hate that light. type of conversation because it's, it's kind of negative. They're saying, well, I can see it. I can hit half it. I don't want you to roll here. Uh, I can make the double. Just get the front one. Just, well, well, try to hammer the well, front one. Hit well, half a well, rock. You make the double. Well, 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 just peels right well, out. Key yep, is don't leave yep, one up there. Yep. That's all. Okay. Yeah, that's a good. good shot. Nothing wrong with that. Well, John Kawaja's comment earlier about the red stone being a little too close to the rings to hide behind. I think uh, there's a very important Just note for this 10th end. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Some danger with the race is that no if you raise it, you don't, you raise it, you don't hit it right dead on the nose, and it takes the outturn curl to it. It may go away from the forefoot as opposed to coming into the forefoot. But it is close to the long guard. We're over. Right in front of it, Kevin. Hmm? No, a little longer the better. Yeah. Close to center is better. Well, well, if you were a betting man here, you would bet that Harris is going to win fought. this game because uh, uh -huh. Harris team has really yeah. peeled off yeah. all the guards. Uh, uh, the outturn is wide ball. open. There's not a rock in the rings, but you know, a half a shot can change the complexion of this thing so dramatically. I mean, if he hits this on the nose and rolls to the center line, Kevin will be around it faster than Johnny wrote the note. And as you see, five rocks remaining. Clean, clean, whoa! Whoa! Tied at five. He hits this thing, he may come off that yellow one over there. Stay loose here. Yeah. Ooh, almost. See it down. You know the trouble with that? You see what that rock ended up? It almost is cutting off the outturn path path to the button. Okay. Should have been a little more careful, I guess. That I think a situation like this is uh, much yeah. more yeah. trying on the uh, wives and girlfriends oh. and the family watching yeah. in the stands. No sure question. No, we almost got to go now. Difficult. Huh? Oh, oh, Kevin's going with the intern draw. <laughs> See the ice, the edge, and the eight foot. The edge of the eight foot. He's trying to curl around in front of the T line. There. 
Three for line. No, nope. line's good. Three line. A lot of room. Line only. A lot of room. room. Whoa. A lot of room. Stay close. Yep. Yep. Room. Line only. Whoa, room, 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 Whoa. room. A lot of room. Line Whoa. only. Don't know. This perfect. has been the this has been the fastest spot oh. in the ice. Right off. T line at least. Good. Well, good. well by that guard. Okay. Call timeout as soon as it's our turn. Okay. Put. Okay. Try to make the back one. You want to try both, Mikey? Yeah, we are trying both. Okay. Yeah, we're trying both for sure. Okay. Like the intern or like the two red stones? Absolutely. Be it's a in. Do you like okay. right on the nose? Yeah, well, in's fine. Okay. Just Actually, uh, goes seven eight low, eh? He might yeah. uh, make the double. Okay, let's make it. Big shot. Huge shot. Give me an inch shot, more, yeah. please. Okay. As you heard Martin say, we'll call a timeout as soon as it's our turn. Yep! Yeah. Oh! Yep! Yep! Straight back. Oh. Yes, he gets it. Oh. Ah, it's a good shot. Great shot. And the thing about it, he's going to make Kevin draw oh, again. Right. Now, whether you go to the intern or the out turn is. Way. Again, Don, that it all uh, yellow rock is in a spot that's really it hangs difficult it all to bury and stay in front of the two line. And that's why he's looking to go to, the, right. uh, to the outside here, even though he's probably not going to get much better than a bite of the forefoot. I'm sure Kevin feels right now that if he tries to throw the intern draw, he won't be able to bury more than half a rock and stay in front of the two line. Well, that's right. And I think that's exactly why he's playing the out turn. And not only that's that, right. he played one before, and he wants to get it in this area if he can, but this leaves this whole area of for Mike Harris, so. Uh, we'll never bury nothing with that intern. Yeah, the interesting thing to note is that uh, all of Mike Harris's key draws have been interns, That's so he's exactly feel right. feels pretty comfortable with yes. it. Yes. And Kevin told his front end, he's, we'd never bury anything with, with the, the intern. intern. There. Line's tight. You heard him say Hurt. line's tight right away. Hurt. Hurt. Lots of weight. Hurt. We're heavy. You gotta get by. Mike Harris have oh, to throw his final stone. No, no I don't hard. think so. No. He's all over the guard. Mike Harris will not have to throw his final stone. Oh, no. Mike Harris and his Ontario rink from the Tan Heather Country <laughs> Club will represent Canada at the Olympic Games in Nagano. Oh, unbelievable. You heard Walchuk say as soon as Kevin let it go, he's tight. He's tight. Oh, man. That's an unfortunate shot for Kevin Martin, but you know, Mike Harris led the round robin all week. He was outstanding, and he hung in there today. One of the unheralded competitors coming in is now the brightest star on the Canadian curling scene, and he will proudly carry the Canadian flag to Nagano as our representative at the Olympic Games. <laughs> Hi, Johnny. Do they want us on camera? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go to commercial. All right. All righty. Well, we need to monitor. They want us in position. So no uh, no uh, summary, just a welcome back and right to the interview.
know, I was over having a glass of water, getting all psyched up to throw a draw to the forefoot over there. So, uh, yeah, I didn't. Richard all of a sudden started screaming, looked over, we had a yellow one in the house. I don't know what happened, but uh, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you were saying uh, when you first got here to Brandon, uh, you beat Kerry Burtnick, uh, former world champion. All the reporters rushed by you to talk to Kerry and said, how did you lose to that guy, Mike Harris? That's right. Now they know who you are. Well, yeah, we, uh, we, it was pretty funny, actually, the first couple days around here. But, uh, you know, as, as we, after we beat Kerry, uh, we started to get a little more attention. And, yeah, thankfully, uh, we happened to pull it out. Uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. Uh, it's the first really big event we've won, something like this. You know, we've never been to a briar or anything like that. We lost a few tight ones, but uh, there is a curling god after all. <laughs> tell, us, tell us, Mike, about... Uh, the match itself. You had the big steal of the deuce and three to go up three nothing, a four one lead at the uh, five end break, and then Kevin started coming back with a couple of deuces in six and eight. Uh, it's really tough to protect a lead in the four rock rule, isn't it? Yeah, I really hate it. It's <laughs> the four, the three rock rule is a lot more fair for the team with the hammer, but uh, you know it's uh, what we're going to be playing in Nagano, I guess. So uh, it's good practice for us for sure, but. Uh, you know, we, uh, we played an excellent ninth end, and uh, that, that gave us the opportunity coming home. We knew if we had a chance to draw the way I was drawing this game, uh, we'd have a good chance in my last one. Mike, has it sunk in? You're going to the Olympic Games. No. <laughs> give, me a, give me a few minutes to let it sink in. I just want to say thanks to my teammates. You know, I curl with all my best friends, and uh, it's uh, really special to win with them. All right, Mike, congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Right. Mike Harris of Toronto. The winning rink with a 6-5 win over Kevin Martin here today in a dramatic conclusion to the men's final. See you again. We're back at the Keystone Center in Brandon where the bagpipes are all queued up and ready for the post-game celebration where Kevin Martin went down to defeat today to Mike Harris 6-5. Uh, Kevin, condolences, but uh, what a tremendous exhibition today. Yeah, it's only uh, celebrations for one, uh, one side, yeah. Uh, it was a good game. It was close. Um, we fought back well. Mike makes a peach in 10, and that was the game, the, uh, this angle. You did fight back uh, real well with the deuce in six. The crowd here liking to hear this over the intercom, uh, the deuce again in eight. And then tell us what happened there in the 10th. 
In the 10th, uh, we had a pretty good end set up, actually. One back four, full back four, and, uh, and a guard. And Mike uh, Mike makes a great uh, raise double and stayed around the center line, so I couldn't play the intern come around. And that, that's, that was it. Did you feel any pressure as the favorite here today? Because Mike obviously felt none as the underdog. Yeah, well, I don't know. I felt good. And, and uh, I don't know. You can only do what you can. And uh, Mike, Mike deserves to win, no question. All right, Kevin, congratulations on a great game. Thanks. Kevin Martin of Alberta going down by just one point in a match decided in the 10th and final end. Okay, what's next, Junie? Whereabouts out here? Okay. What are we doing then? Okay, so a scoreboard on the screen. Okay. Curling Trials, live on CBC Sports. Brought to you by Chrysler Canada. Proud sponsors of the Canadian Olympic team. The other Mike Harris from Ontario, the underdog who refused to be intimidated, beats Kevin Martin 6-5 in the men's final, and he's going to Nagano. For their final thoughts, let's go up to the booth and hear our Don and Don. Well, Mark, in this field of former Canadian and world curling champions, Mike, Harrell, uh, Mike Harris was certainly unheralded, but if you'll pardon the pun, Mike Harris is now the premier curler in the country. Yeah, he really is. They played a strong game, and I think they played a, an exceptional ninth end to blank the end, have maintained last rock coming home. You had to feel 
sorry for Kevin Martin Don because he fought back very strongly. He got in the game. He had a chance maybe to sink one in, and he wrecks on a guard, and that's unfortunate. One thing you were impressed with, and I know John Kawaja was impressed with, the ability of Mike Harris to remain calm and composed and to be able to call a very good game. Yeah, he does call an exceptional game. That'll be good for him in, in Nagano. I mean, they're a great team, a solid team. They're very compatible. I'm very comfortable. There are representatives, and I'm sure they'll do a great job. Receiving their gold medals, the Mike Harris Rink, representing Canada in Nagano. Thank you. Stand by as destination Nagano continues. The underdog rises up. Mike Harris victorious for the first time outside of Ontario at the national level. And it lands him and his rink. A ticket to Nagano to represent Canada in men's curling. Coming up tomorrow on Destination Nagano, the women's final of the World Curling Trials. At 1.30 Eastern, Sandra Schmirler versus Shannon Clybring. Tonight on Molson Hockey Night in Canada, the surging Canucks versus the Leafs, Ontario West, Ottawa. Quebec East will see the Senators play the Chicago Blackhawks and then the nightcap the mighty Ducks of Anaheim versus the Calgary Flames at 1030 Eastern it's all starting at 630 with the announcement of the Canadian team but Mike Harris is the man of the hour leading his team to Nagano stay tuned destination Nagano continues now with World Cup scheme.